Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have a very special... Special! <laughs> <laughs> special guest, Mr. Dan Mancina, is with us. Stoked to be here. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Chris. Hey, how are you? You dude? got me with that pause between the specials. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk or not. <laughs> no, no, listen. I tried to build the suspense a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Great. Like people are checking their radios. What happened? It cut out, yeah. you know? That was, good you know, just, that was a solid pause. Yeah. Build that suspense. was a special, special. Yeah. Special. Yeah. special. Thank you. Hey, Dan, thank you for coming. This this is going to be amazing. My pleasure. Stoked yeah. you're here, bro. Yeah, man. Big um, fan. Big oh, fan. dude, thank you, brother. We appreciate Stoked. that. Yeah, what you. um, what brings you into town? You are you are you living back in in Michigan? I live in Michigan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm here. I visit uh, family at least once a month, and then I uh, usually make a skate trip out of that when I can. So I've been here for like a week and a half or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When you say visit family, your family is not in Michigan. Your family out here as well. Oh, I have a son who lives here. Oh, so okay. visitation beginning of the month, and then he comes to Michigan holidays and stuff like that. Oh, amazing, summer. amazing. Oh, awesome. How old is he? He's thirteen. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Teenager, huh? Oh. Yeah, he is. Starts high school next year. <laughs> wow. The teens. Yeah. yeah. He's still good. He doesn't get to. Uh, not snipping back at me or anything. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no just wait. I think yeah, he's man. getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Does he skate it all yet? Or uh, when he comes to Michigan, we roll around. But he likes baseball. He's really into oh, that. So. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I spend most of my time sitting at Venice. Uh, what is it? Venice. I don't even know. Whatever that field is over there. Yeah. Venice. Uh, Venice High. No. No. They have a baseball it's a, field. It's like a best Venice? baseball field. I'm sure. It's, yeah. I don't know. It's called Venice. Yeah, it's a big bunch of fields. Over oh, there. I oh. think it's there's in one the right neighborhood. A, it's like in the neighborhood. I think there's one across from Santa Monica Airport. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I see you. the signs okay. for. Yeah, 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 of, yeah, yeah. There's like yeah. a garden there and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Huh. That's usually where he's nice. well, baseballing where, it up. There you nice. go. What but, part? What part of Michigan are you from? I'm from like about. Uh, Right now, I'm like 40 minutes out of Detroit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, I grew nice. up like 20 minutes. I, grew, I was born in East Detroit, or Warren, right on the border of Warren, East Detroit, and then moved to a different city called Livonia. 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 A little small okay. towns, yeah. Livonia, I've heard of Livonia. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> There's a place That's a cool name, in right? Europe called... Yeah, Lavagna or something Livonia? like that. Lavagna? Similarity. Different place. Yeah, you know, it's like... Not the funnest place. Potato, but, potato. Huh? Yeah. Let, let's start off with um, the... You have... Um, you're, you're born with yeah. or... You're born with RD. Is RP. That, RP. RP, excuse me. Yeah. yeah, retinitis pigmentosa is what they call it. Okay. Um, and it's a degenerative eye... Yeah. Disease. Yep. De like progressive. So it's my sight's gotten worse throughout my life. Mm -hmm. So I was born with, you know, good vision. Used to drive till about my mid twenties. Okay. And then uh, just, that's when it got started getting really bad. Oh. Um, but I grew up skating like my whole life since pushing around since I was like seven, cruising around. Moved to California uh, right on high school that summer. I uh, lived here for about. On and off for about five years, mm -hmm. and uh, still had good sight then. Cruise around, like worked at a little surf skate snow shop. Yeah, um, ZJ boarding house. ZJ boarding yeah. house, mm -hmm. still hanging in there somehow. No, it's not. Well, <laughs> no, I, no, I think they're redoing no, they, it. Yeah, oh, they're, they're, they're like, yeah. Oh, they are something. I don't know. Uh, it's not know, what it okay. used. It used to be cool, like yeah. owned by a couple of you know like cool dudes, Mikey, for sure. Mikey I, and Todd, but isn't it like owned by Billabong now or something? Yeah, yeah. Originally, like back when the recession hit, like two thousand eight ish. Or right before that, you know, when it got really bad and stuff, mm -hmm. um, they were struggling for a while. And then, yeah, Billabong bought like half of it or something. And then it's just been getting more and more corporate from there. Yeah, I think uh, the pandemic really put it out, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was cool. I mean, that it was a skate shop. I mean, it was a surf skate, mm -hmm. you know, but um, it was a skate shop around here. I mean, I skated for Val Surf, but mm -hmm. I, I never went out there. Used to come know. in there trading some jeans every now. And what are you, <laughs> yeah, you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Calling to somebody else. Yeah, okay, <laughs> but that was the spot. It was right it next was to spot. the Sand Gaps. Yeah, yeah it was and right there. Squirrel was working there. Sean McNulty. Yeah, Squirrel. a lot of people yeah. worked there. It was convenient. Dude, it was, it was sick. Uh, the day I moved to Cal, the day I got into California, I met up with Broa, buddy Noah. And uh, we met at his Cappuccino apartment, man. the Cappuccino Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's a man. He uh, had an apartment, and the apartment next to him was just getting cleaned out. 
and I filled. We put an application and moved into that apartment that night. Oh. Wow! And then did an application for ZJ's, got that job. So I was set up like freaking first night. It Boom! Was nice. Sick. Okay, that was at the eight two five house, or no, was that was a, this is a different one? Yeah, apartment in Culver City. Oh, okay. And then I moved home, and I moved when I moved back. I moved home for a summer, mm-hmm. and then uh, we moved into eight two five. We were we were trying to get our foot in that door for a while. It was like all girls who lived there. Oh. But he was, it used to be nice. Okay. <laughs> used to be. And Until then, you got your foot in there. And then we slowly tore that house down. Yeah, there. I remember that house. I was scared to go there. It was, no. yeah, it was good times. Though. Yeah, I walked in there once. I was like, wait, all these people live in here? I know. Wasn't there like was a... Like, how many people were there? Yeah. Guffy, When McNulty. I was there, it was six. Two, two in each room, three rooms. Three rooms. Okay. Yeah. Holding it down. I mean, that's, that's a way to make some like cheap rent right there. <laughs> it was cheap. Yeah. yeah. True skate house. 250 a month is some shit. You couldn't yeah. beat it because like, I would just like bomb the little hill, Ocean Park Hill, down mm-hmm. to work every morning. Oh, it was nice. Yeah. And then you had the beach right there. Courthouse beach. was kind of up a little further. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, not skating distance, but you could, yeah. you could go up there and everything. But um, yeah, no, I, I think you guys were, um, it was a cool little spot. You guys yeah. had there. True Skate House. True yeah. Skate. You skate 2-5. Yeah. Skate 2-5. Skate two five. So uh, let's talk about this um, RP. Mm-hmm. What, I mean, that must have been, when you found out you had it at like 12, 13 years old. Yeah, right around 13. And then, you know, you're young, 13, maybe you don't think about it. Do you think about it? Do you not, like until it actually starts to happen? Yeah, then you like start thinking about it. Yeah, exactly. Didn't worry about it at all. Right. Um, till it really starts affecting you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just you know a little kid at that point. Sure. My kid's age actually. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was just cruising, living life, skating a bunch. You know, blown in at school. Okay. Made my way through high school barely, um, and then I moved back. Had my son, mm-hmm. and we moved back to Michigan. Cause I had to get my shit together because I was just living at 825. Yeah, you can't yeah. raise a kid there. Yeah. Cannot <laughs> raise a kid there. Yeah. I'm not gonna work. No way. Um, man, what did we do? Yeah, moved back and started going to school. Uh, and then me and that lady split. And then this is where stuff just went to shit to mm. where I was like separated from him. And then my eyes started getting really bad. I was just like working some dishwasher job at a Fleming Steakhouse. Uh, finishing school, I was going to school for aviation management. Oh, um, at just like a community college there, and then uh, yeah, kid left, and then I was just like struggling for a while. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. Eyes got really bad. Like one morning, I woke up and I had like a big chunk of vision gone in like my left eye. Wow, oh, just like yeah. that. Um, yeah, it had been getting worse. Like I started uh, not driving at night. Mm. Uh, only driving during the day, and then uh, started eventually couldn't drive. I like ran a couple of red lights, and I was like, "All right, I'm done." Hung the keys up, just like wow. biking everywhere, and then I couldn't bike after a while. Um, man, what did I do then? Just schooling, just like head down, trying to get through school, trying to get a job so I could, you know, support my son and all that stuff. Mm-hmm, yeah. uh, skateboarding was not on my mind at all. Like totally dropped that kind of faded from skating like when i moved back from la like i would hit the park every now and then but that was it um but then thought like that was done for sure you know going into sight loss and trying to deal deal with life figure that out Mm -hmm. yeah i mean to me skating would be the last thing Mm -hmm. on the mind when you're trying to navigate this new life you know well you said you found out about this when you're like 13 and you didn't really think about it and but was there a certain point when it something happened where you're like oh shit this is this is real yeah that was one of the mid-20s when i had that like big chunk of vision oh that's when it yeah okay Mm -hmm. that's when i like kind of started using a cane uh and then I started getting some uh, help. Like I went to some training. There's like all kinds of training you can do for the visually impaired and blind. Mm. Like how to use a white cane, how to travel independently and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And that was really sick because that's when I like started becoming comfortable as an actual blind person and like carrying around this cane and this new identity, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of weird to get used to and just not, <clears throat> not knowing kind of who I was, you know. Right. Because right. I was just skater my whole life. And uh, just being lost, man, I did change school. I finished that degree and I did went into massage therapy, okay. <laughs> which I thought, yeah, you use your hands, you know, it's going to be chill. Yeah, sure. A lot of blind people take that route sometimes, but 
I worked that job for about a year, and the whole time I was pretty miserable. It was like, this is not, this is not what I can do for the rest of my life. You right. Know? Yeah. But like, dope. I love. I'm full back the massage. I usually get one every month. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. Man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I had to switch it up. At that point, I'm like, this is not me. Uh, I went back to school for my. Uh, what did I do then? That's when I had my cane training, and I learned about all these different services you could have for the vision impaired. And there's like VRT, which is vision rehab teacher. Hmm. Uh, there's O&M, orientation mobility, which is using the white cane. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's pretty sick. And I like felt comfortable in that environment. It's like the first time I went somewhere and I felt like people understood me and, you know, as a vision impaired person, because everyone starts treating you differently. Right. You know? And yeah, I, right. I still felt like the same person, but <clears throat> noticed this difference in the way, you know, family and friends are treating you and just the low expectations and just like everyone trying to do everything for you and all this stuff. Hmm. And that's what I hated probably the most about it. Mm-hmm. And I still do. Never even thought about like low expectations. Yeah, yeah like kids who grow up blind, yeah, can get set back pretty far right. in life by just, you know, having everything done for them and, you know, getting celebrated for like these tiny accomplishments that are just basic to a mm. to your average person. Sure. You know? mm-hmm. Um man, that's when I actually skated for the first time. I was just like stoked on uh I started an Instagram doing like random things you wouldn't think a blind person would do. Uh-huh. So like throwing bullseye and darts, like beer pong, all this, <laughs> awesome. all this random stuff. That's so sick. And was then it, were uh, they real? Were they real? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bullseye took me like two days. Okay. Beer pong, I like bounced one and then sunk one back to back. That one took yeah. me like five hours to do. <laughs> My lady was hating me because she would be sitting there filming these stupid oh, videos. No. <laughs> but like. That was just my way to, you know, push back against For sure. you know, what I was feeling from the outside. Oh, so boy. did that and then that kind of got traction and then one day I was stoked, you know, fall in the Midwest is the best time to skate, hoodie weather and like mm. just cool, it's not humid. Mm-hmm. So I built a uh, little bench um and did this a front board, I think. Yeah, a little front board on that. And then posted that and then somebody from Gencom hit me up. And they're like, "Oh no, wait. Somebody, yeah, my buddy Alec Beck. You guys know Alec Beck, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He shared that on the uh, what was then the Tony Hawk Foundation. Yeah. Now the skate park project. But he shared that on their gram and it like, you know, took off a little bit viral or whatever. And then Jen come hit me up and they did a full on article on me. And then I, sk- and I did like a couple lines skating then. Um, and I kind of got the bug to skate. And I was like, man, it would be sick to film like a actual, <clears throat> excuse me, full part. Sure. Um, cause that's always my favorite thing is just filming full parts and right. all that stuff. So that got me excited to do that. Uh, Red Bull did a piece then after that, um, same time I'm going to school. I now I'm going to school for the VRT stuff, which is a master's program. So I had to finish my four year degree, which I just did psychology. I did the fastest route I could do. Okay. Finish that, bang that out, like five classes a semester, like insane like yeah. just head down grinding and then uh skating was kind of like starting to like sh- i don't know I'd almost be like a path where i could actually support myself off of mm. so i kind of had to decide like what do i do i finish school or not um talk to a few people like carl watts gave me some good advice and stuff like that that's when shire hit me up paul uh got hooked up with some adidas mm-hmm and then Jim from Real, my man, was the first one to send Jim me boards. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually here. Bring him up. Hey, there's no empty, way but. he's here. <laughs> <laughs> we wish he was here. Yeah, yeah. he's the best. But yeah, he's yeah. the one who first gave me boards, first hooked me up, and like was like a huge part of me being like starting to actually believe in myself as an actual skateboarder and like actually think – Oh, maybe I can actually push this and and still love it and enjoy it and take it as far as I can. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yeah, I can't say enough about just what that meant to me to get those boards and stuff like that. So yeah. Jim stoked on that, Thibo. Yeah. And then uh, Shire, I just posted some clip. He saw me wearing some booze knits. Okay. Let me send you some shoes. Uh-huh. Try to get the Adidas. And then, uh, man, and then I was trying to figure out, like, should I just go just head, like, full in on skating? And I was like, no, I'm going to finish my degree because this time I was getting my school paid for. 
through mm. the state. So oh. if you're if you're blind out there, you should get your free education. Oh, it's the best thing you can do. So mm. yeah, you're already like so close. It was like you might as well. Yeah, I was close. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, I was. Uh, like I had to move away to Kalamazoo. It was like two hours from where I lived. Mm. And I was yeah. on the fence. Like I was emailing professors, like, "Hey, can I postpone this? Can I do like the online version of this?" And they're like, "No, you can't. You got to come to. You got to come to campus." Oh, uh, okay. I was like, "Fuck it, did it." That was a year intense fucking program of like, I mean, it was literally like Monday through Friday was class from like nine a.m. to like four, mm -hmm. and then like five hours of homework after school every day. Dude, of just pretty miserable right but like had a good time like i was like with my lady at the time heather and uh hey, can it I, wasn't the can worst I, time can i ask something like how do you go about doing classes online like is it just like all audio that's getting yeah, yeah that yeah. was the whole process getting used to that of like getting all your books um on tape mm -hmm. and then online stuff was actually a little easier you can kind of go at your own pace and do it at your own time but it's like a computer I use like a Mac and it has what's called voiceover on it. Mm -hmm. So it will uh, just read to you what's on the screen pretty right. much. And oh, you nice. use the keyboard to nav, excuse me, to navigate like everything on the screen. Hmm. Select things, type and yeah, all that stuff. Nice, so dude. Phone does the same thing. It's like how I run all my shit. Oh, so. okay. Right, right, right. So you could like go on Instagram <clears throat> and it could read comments for you. Yeah, read the stuff. comments. Won't tell you a picture. So quit oh, sending okay. me pictures, people okay. <laughs> <It's> without a <laughs> caption. <laughs> Um. Yeah, so that stuff's pretty accessible. I just kind of learned that all that on my own. Sure. Well, technology it. nowadays is yeah, it's is crazy. incredible. But um, but going back to you know <clears throat> the the RP, the degenerative eye thing. Mm -hmm. Um, you know because like it's not all of a sudden like you're blind, right? It's like yeah. it's it's this slow and steady course. Yeah. Right. And so how do you, did you have like a support system and stuff like that? Because um, like I, I could imagine something like that where you can go from, you know, being able to see everything mm -hmm. and then not, I mean, I, I, I just, I don't know if a lot of people could deal with that depression and certain things could kick yeah. in, you know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. Well, I had a really good, like my mom's the best. Yeah. She's always pushing me and telling me to do always guided me in the right direction mm. and then a good group of friends uh who never really let me you know hang back or or not do anything because of my vision mm -hmm. uh i mean i definitely went through a period of of just getting used to and adjusting to that it's and it's different for everybody you know some people don't lose their vision till later in life some people mm. lose it younger in life with this mm -hmm. disorder um it kind of happened at a weird time because like mid-20s like I'm, you're just starting to kind of be comfortable in who you are, yeah. Um, you know, an actual adult, and feel like you have some kind of grasp on the world and and just your identity. Sure. And then it kind of got stripped from me again. You know, I wouldn't leave the house to even walk around the block without being with a person. Uh -huh. um, and just always having needing someone to kind of be with me, guiding me, and stuff like that. And that's when that O and M, the cane training, mm. like really. That's when I said it, like helped me kind of regain my identity and like, you know, being stoked on an actual blind person. Cause then I would just start navigating everywhere. I would start, I started like running a bunch. I was like super fat at this time. I was like 238 pounds. Wow. Just like drinking a bunch of shit. Yeah. Just, just, and I didn't really have, uh, the time to like deal with losing my sight. Cause I was just grinding at school and just stressed about my son and stuff like that. Mm. So like I didn't have time to like grieve for that quite yet. Was it was this happening over a period of time, or did it all of a sudden? Because right now, yeah. you what are you? Because I saw a video where you could like see, like not like two mm -hmm. percent of this like corner that's like yeah. super blurry, even you know. Yeah. So I had a little bit of vision where yeah I would like look off to I think the left, uh -huh. and I had a little bit in my peripheral that I would use, and then about. I think four or five years ago, I lost a little bit of that. Mm. Um, and that was a big adjustment, especially with my skating, because I went from really using that to like, I could see shadows and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I would use like the shadow of a ledge to find a ledge or something. Oh. Um, and then this is where I developed the, I have to reach down and I touch, I don't know if you guys probably haven't seen my newer footage, but I reach down and I touch everything, like mm -hmm. a ledge or a flat bar or something like that. 
Um, and that's where I figured out how to do that because I was like struggling to figure out how to skate again. Right, because we're, we're, when you're skating a ledge, you're talking about like the height of the ledge, and mm -hmm. even if you ollie like a little too high, you might miss the grind mm -hmm. or the slide. Or I mean, there's so many yeah, variables the, right there. The height's not the hard part. It's, okay, it's actually finding the ledge. So lining yourself up, right, to push and then be hitting it at the right angle. Mm. Um, that's the hardest part, right, to do. And and yeah, Tim seen me the last couple of days. I was struggling hard and. And lose, I lose my mind a lot of time because it's like a thousand roll-ups. You know what I mean? It'll be like 10 roll-ups where I can even pop for one. Gotcha. Um, and that just wears on you again and again and again. And it's like oh, yeah. fucking the trick itself takes me a million tries. And then like it's to add an extra million of just roll-ups from mm. just have to stop and reset. So the vision thing, it was, it was over the course of time? Over the course of time. So then I had a little bit of vision. Uh, I was rocking that out through undergrad. Um but I mean, <sighs> I'm just trying to get like a to... mental picture of like how, like when you're going through like tr uh, cane training, right? Uh -huh. Like what, what could you see and what could you not see when you're going through that? Yes. I feel like when you're doing, if, if you're up to that point of cane training, like mm -hmm. you're, pr it's pretty significant. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, there's people who are legally blind and can drive like using what? certain monoculars and like certain mirrors you can actually still drive oh okay. wow interesting so because there's like there's legally blind can be you know your your acuity 2200 or worse Did you say uh, it was acuity acuity oh your acuity, acuity. Yeah. <laughs> okay um so that's like a person who's 2020 can see what you see at 200 feet that's what they Let me think see. about at, this. If so I could see, if I'm could see at 200 feet, acuity. What I see at 20 feet. Mm. Okay. So okay. somebody with 20 20 vision, I think that's right. Yeah, can see what you see at 20 feet at 200 feet. Mm. Okay. Um, so that's one definition of blindness, and then there's uh, field loss, which is like tunnel vision. Mm. Um, so I think under 20 percent of your field is considered legally blind. So you could have really good central vision and still read print and text mm -hmm. and like really small print, but still be legally blind. And then people use a cane when they're walking in public to, it's more of like an identifier to let people know, like if I'm, if I bump into you okay. or if I'm knocking shit over, if I'm taking out wet floor signs, like <laughs> yeah. I'm blind, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, so people use it as an identifier sometimes. So you can gotcha. have pretty good vision and still use it. But, uh, at that point, I was, it was just shadows. Mm. You know what I mean? It had to be really well lit and like good contrast between like maybe like the floor and a wall for me to tell the difference between where the, where the floor is and the actual wall. Oh, okay. Like a white wall on a black ground. You know what I mean? So is it like, are we talking about like shadows with a blurry? Uh, like yeah, very blurry. Very blurry. Okay. Like I couldn't read. Yeah, I can't read text is or print. Is it darker blurry? Like it's very, um, like it's nighttime almost or? No, it would have to, it'd have to be a really l well lit area for me to see out of that blurry vision. Oh, okay. Okay. If it, if it was like dim in a, in a bar or something like that, I couldn't, I can't see anything. Nothing. At that point. You just see like lights, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, blurry lights like kind of here and there got you okay so still usable vision to help me navigate um but like you know very poor and this know. is the vision that was in your 20s or what this you is, have now no this is back in my 20s i'm total 20s, okay. blind i have zero zero i don't i can't tell the difference between light and dark okay. or anything and if the light's on like you can't see the no bright light lights either. okay yeah got nothing. you got you got you um and that was another big adjustment but mm -hmm. Yeah, I was kind of freaked out then because I I told I did filmed another like little park edit for Gen Come again and I was like all right I got to figure this out so I kind of used that as motivation to figure out what the hell I could do mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah. um and that time I had filmed the part two like my first I guess you know fuller part or whatever and that's the one that came out way back when uh, you guys watched it on here I was stoked hey, yeah, 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 yeah TCB yeah. part there you go that was like God I don't even know f three years ago four years yeah, ago something like yeah. that. It sounds like the last couple of years you've been adjusting as your like as your site is leaving, you're adjusting how to deal with it every time, huh? Yeah, I was like stoked to lose that last bit of vision. Really? Because I was just like the doctor asked me at one point, they kept do you guys to get like shots in my eye every mm. month? Like literally a needle stuck oh, in my geez. eye. Mm. Um doing all the going through all this shit, Steroids going to the doctor. Or yeah, it's like a steroid. It's like called a Vastin. It's like a cancer medication that they use that's supposed to suppress 
like there's like these blood vessels in the eye that rupture and mm. then that blood covers the retina. So that's really where I had the big vision loss. It's called Coates disorder. That's like separate from the actual RP. Okay. But yeah, little details, right? But no, I, I, yeah. I think it's important. So yeah. I had that and that's what started taking my vision quick. That's where I had that big loss in my left eye. Okay. And I literally woke up and I was like, whoa, this is different. Uh, same thing started happening in the right eye. I did like surgeries on my eyes and all this stuff. Wow. And I was just over it and was telling the doctor like, like I'm over it. He's like, what do you mean? Like, don't, I was like, this is all kind of in vain. Like, it's just a matter of time before I go fully blind. Like, so I eventually just stopped going at, when I had that really poor vision, I was like, all right, I'm over this. It's so almost like you felt like one or the other. Like yeah. I, I, all, all I'm seeing right now is this blurry, dark shadows. Mm-hmm. Might as well just. And it's quality of life. Like I don't want to go to the doctor every month. Uh, there you and go. Deal too. With this. Like right. I'd rather just live my life and do this. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I actually had to have my left eye removed after a while. Really? So this left eye is like a fake prosthetic glass eye. Oh, wow. Um, Why would they remove the eye? It was in pain. <clears throat> it was always pain. Like sometimes I have this like intense pressure built up. Okay. Like the eyeball actually starts shrinking after a while hmm. and it builds up this pressure. The same thing's like happening to my right eye, but oh, wow. I'm trying to hang on to that one. Is there yeah. anything? That surgery sucked. I could imagine. It was horrible. Jeez. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is there any, um, do they know, A, what causes it, or B, is there any research being done to figure out this RP thing? Yeah, and, constant research. Yeah. Um, the thing is, there's so many different, like I have one strand of RP. There's like, mm. I don't even know how many, a Hundreds. lot of different strands. So there has to be a cure for each one of those strands. Oh, and then that's wow. just one type of blindness. I mean, then there's Stargardt. There's all these other other versions that uh that are all getting researched too so it's not just like blindness isn't we just need one cure for blindness right right you need probably thousands of different cures for each individual Mm. gene you know mess up i feel like if they can if they if they get a hold of one they can maybe try to figure out hopefully yeah they accelerate it at some point yeah exactly they do like an implant it's called the argus chip Mm. where you can implant and you can see like some kind of blurry shadows but i don't think Mm. that would even work for me because i have that blood covering in my retina or whatever oh, okay. i stopped giving up on that back you know decade ago sure, sure. That. you know the doctor told me when i was 13 don't worry about it there's going to be a cure you know don't worry don't stress mm-hmm. um, and this doesn't run in the family at all does it yeah it does yeah. oh it does mine's attached to the x chromosome rpx so my son does not have it if mm-hmm. i have a daughter uh-huh and and she has a a boy. That boy will have a fifty percent chance of having it. Whoa. It's interesting how so kind of skips a generation. that hereditary stuff. Yeah, skips generations mm-hmm. and stuff like that. It's very interesting. It's I don't know too much about it, but wow. I've heard stuff. Yeah, because like mine's attached to the X chromosome, so the female will the other X chromosome that she can have will compensate mm-hmm. for that mess up, mm-hmm. so she won't have it. And then if you have a kid, you know they only have one X chromosome, so it's a fifty percent chance that he gets that X chromosome with the RP mm. uh, mess up on it. So. Interesting. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So weirdness. When but, you were talking about, oh, the, I have to make a decision because skateboarding could mm-hmm. uh, support my lifestyle or not, or go or keep yeah. in, keep going to college. Yeah. Do I keep chasing this dream or what? Yeah. yeah I mean, right. what was the po- what was the deciding factor right there? Because w- were you starting to get paid by certain companies, or was it just the the fact of like? Hey, I can like be in skateboarding and film video parts and do stuff and work my way up and work your yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I wasn't getting paid at this point. Okay. Um, but I was like, just, you know, this had been my dream since I was a kid to mm. try to do this. So I was like, well, this is my shot right here. Uh, do I go all in? And then I really did it. Like my mom pushed me. She's a big edge. She was the first one to go to college in her family. And like, and it's a good backup plan. You know, I don't know how long the skating is going to last. Hmm. So I still have that degree and the school is free. So it's like, I'm kind of an idiot if I don't finish that off and get that. Take degree. advantage of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So sure. yeah, I felt the reason I was kind of pressured to do it. Cause I'm, you know, I was what? 30, 30 years old, 31 at that time. I'm 34 now. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I'm getting older. You know, I still feel like I'm behind in my skating where I'm like, at that time I was like starting to progress a little bit. And like two things that I didn't think I'd be able to do. So I'm like, man, I want to like push this. And uh, yeah, I just like feel this pressure to that. I'm just behind in mm. where I'm at. You know, I wish I went by when I was 18, you know, I've been like mm. stoked. But yeah, so I have that, just that 
that nagging thing in the back of my mind, like, man, getting older, mm -hmm. um, I know what's possible, and I just want to take it as far as I can. So, Well, and I think it's important, too, because not only are you pursuing your dream, but you are inspiring all of skateboarding <clears throat> community on what you're doing oh, and yeah, bringing definitely. awareness as well to, mm -hmm. you know, a, a being blind is because I, to me, yeah. you were the first person that I was aware of. I, I, there's many blind skaters, yeah. right? But yep. you were the first to really come into the scene right. and be like, damn, damn Mancina. Like, okay, like, like yeah, it's possible. Know, here, we like, here we go. You know? Thanks. Yeah. yeah. So I think that there's, many like levels to it you know it's not yeah. like you're following your dream but there's also many other things thanks that you're I, yeah. contributing to skateboarding sure. you know yeah that feels good like i that's another you know pressure behind me to keep pushing you know and just like it's just so you know i grew up watching videos and being stoked on watching video parts you mm -hmm. know um so that's always was always my motivation as a kid so like hopefully i can anytime i can do that you know like i'm fucking stoked and just like yeah. yeah, it keeps me pushing, pushing it as far as I can. So well, I mean, like there's, I mean, I mean, because there's other like the um, Justin Bishop mm -hmm. is my um, man Bishop. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. he's his, amazing. He uses um, he uses a different kind of tactic. He uses like the echolocation. Yeah, a little beeper box. Little beeper box. So he'll put that on a on a ledge or a quarter pipe, so mm -hmm. he can hear and follow where that, like I, I like the coping is yep. or something, right? Yeah, he puts it like center of a ramp or put it at the top or bottom of a stair set or gap mm -hmm. and he uses that as a guide i did that back in the day skating gaps mm. um and then he uses a rope technique too where he'll tie a rope to like he was the first ah. one first one to do a handrail i've seen that oh. yeah yeah he so was he, using a rope yeah so he wow. used that like literally as like his hand gl guides along it um and guides him to the actual rail uh, itself right wow right and now he puts like i think three or four knots in it every like foot or two feet so he feels one one knot two knot three knot ready to pop okay that's interesting yeah, he's got the technique down for that what's up with the echolocation is that where do you you said you tried it yeah i use it very rarely hmm. um i like i just take pride in just just my board and my cane yep mm -hmm. um and yeah, I'm just stoked. Like, I don't like having to worry about one extra thing. Okay. Um, I mean, I could definitely, I could definitely use the damn help for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I'm just too stubborn to get used to that, especially for gaps, because like just going in a straight line is the hardest thing. So yeah. when you have to start far away and get more speed, mm -hmm. uh, throwing down and just guiding yourself in that right direction, that's where that echo comes in in crucial. Because you, it's, it's actually painting a picture in your mind of this line. Well, it just keeps you centered. Yeah. So you're going towards that, like a like a ship goes to a lighthouse. Mm -hmm. You're going towards that sound. That's how he does a lot of the when he he skates a lot of transition yep. to mini ramps and bowls and stuff. He'll set that up like in a certain point in the coping, and then while he's skating in the back of his mind, he's keeping keeping track of where that beeping is coming from, mm -hmm. and then he's just making adjustments according to where that where that beep is and where he is. You know. Right in right. space and stuff like that. Dude. Yeah, because you always hear about, you know, if you lose your sight, your other senses get, you know. Yeah, that's the common thing you hear. Yeah. I mean, that... uh, no, you just rely on them more. Okay. Um, I mean, there's just a limit to what the body can hear and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's not like it's getting like super... You know, you're you're new. more. My tuned. hearing sucks. Oh, does it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my. But I, I think my hearing's fucking going. You're, you're, you're I want to be screwed. Yeah, <laughs> but you're too. You're more tuned in. I'm tuned in. Yeah, yeah, I do. Like my hearing's bad, but I do notice things that most people don't mm -hmm. because the average sighted person has so much stimulus going on that they're not. They don't have to pay attention to that stuff. Yep. Right. So I'm pretty good with that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I use it a bunch when I'm traveling. You know, just going through the airport listening to i mean it can be anything right like a, a buzzing light post on my street helps me orientate myself to where i am interesting oh. um, interesting i would hate that buzzing light post but for you <laughs> it's actually it works out it, it can works. be used yeah you know? but then the day they fix that then i'm fucking because <laughs> then i'm like where used, is I'm that used buzzing to it. light post that shit happens all the time they make a little adjustment i'm like oh man i'm lost but <laughs> oh man yeah, you use all. Oh, you definitely use like even your smell, like using those senses of like walking in a store and smelling like you guys all know the smell of 
uh, like a big Walmart or something, mm-hmm. like the tire section. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like right. something like that. So you use those to help help navigate yourself. Does Justin Bishop have the same, the RP as well? He does. I think he has the RP. I'm not, I think he has the X as, as well. Hmm. Um, yeah. So same thing. Yes, same yeah. RP, yep. Yeah. Did, is that the first person that you've met that kind of had the same? The first person I met was Nick Mullins. Oh, you guys yeah. Heard of him? Yep. Yeah, yeah. He yep. is insane. Yeah. He's the best blind skateboarder around yeah. there, dude. On the mini ramp. He's fucking nuts. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been skating vert a bunch. He he's doing like nose picks and <laughs> and Smith grinds on a thirteen foot vert ramp. Wow. That's incredible. Um, yeah, it's psycho. Yeah, he's the first one I met. He grew up like an hour from me, actually. Oh wow. Uh, so he lives like Ohio, which is like right over the border from mm-hmm. where I'm at. Um yeah, he was the first dude I met. Met up at like uh, the local shop there or local park there, Modern. Hmm. Did you guys know before? No, I just okay. through social media okay. reached out and got in touch. Yeah. Um, and then after that, yeah, my social media kind of blew up, and I've met so many people. There's like the Flying Thrasher. Uh, there's the dude in uh, Spain too. Hmm. Oh, I can't remember his Instagram name. Uh, he's dope too. There's one in Japan. A lot. Yeah, the guy, I just saw him a couple months ago. Yeah. yeah. He kills it, too. I think he skates, like, flat bars and round yeah. bars, too. He skates yeah. ledges and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he's super good. So there's a bunch, and we're, like, tr- really trying to push uh, to grow the whole contest thing, too, and get that in the Paralympics 2028. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's a big push. Been going to these contests for uh, uh, the border, like, Grind for Life. Yeah, Tampa also. Tampa, I went to Tampa one year. That was intense, insanely what? stressful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, Tampa is. God, like, was yeah. it? It was Tampa Pro though, right? Yeah, it was yeah. Tampa yeah. Am. Yeah. Tampa Am would be a whole different. Snuck my way in there. Yeah, yeah. That that's what I hear. Contest. Mellower at the pros. It's mellow at the yeah. pros. But yeah. I mean, just to listen. I mean, just to get out there at yeah. Tampa Pro. Yeah. Sight or no sight, it, it's yeah. gnarly. Definitely, you know. Yeah, so it was intense. Dude, they called good. my name and I wasn't ready, and I was like, "Oh shit!" What, what do you mean you weren't ready? Like you know, like they call you up, and like usually people know when they're next. I yeah. didn't know when I was next. So, uh, I was like, oh, God. But, so yeah. but that was nerve wracking. Yeah, but no, you, was, but the, everybody, the big support there. Mm. Big support. Oh, yeah. yeah, after I did it, it was all love. I was like really stoked. And yeah, you know, yeah. hooked me up with a thousand dollars. Hey. That's awesome. All in ones, yeah. dude. Mob grip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All in ones. <laughs> <laughs> like G for old, effort, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was, so I was real. Afterwards. I was real stoked after that. That's tight. Amazing, um, dude. So but I yeah. love the support in the skateboard. Yeah, it was really you know, cool. I love that shit. It's nothing but nothing but positive good support yeah. from the whole skate community and world. So love that. It's the best, uh, yeah. Best community to be a part of, for sure. And so you're talking about trying to get it into the Olympics mm-hmm. for the uh, Paralympics? Is that what Paralympics it was? Paralympics would be, yeah. Right. Yeah, 2028 is the goal, and they've been doing contests. I was hurt last year. I didn't get, didn't get to do any of those, so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. this year I did two of them so far. Now, if it, if it was an Olympic sport for you what would it be would the course be set up differently or how do you how what would what would this entail yeah i would want it there would have to be some kind of adjustment yeah um because skating an eight foot long ledge is is really hard like i said finding that ledge lining yourself up is hard sure luckily the two parks we've skated have had good uh flat bars and ledges Mm -hmm. um and good bowls and stuff too for the other dudes who skate park um yeah ideally the best case scenario would be yeah some kind of modified uh uh part course or how would it be called. modified though what would be the length of of objects is okay. the number one thing uh, longer longer the better right at mm-hmm. least 20 feet solid like at home i have a 30 foot long ledge and a 30 foot wide core bike really nice. wow so there's oh, a lot fun. of room for error let me you know ask you I mean? a question because this is what i've always wondered as well i think we did talk about it maybe when we were we i think maybe we reviewed um i think we maybe we reviewed justin bishop's video uh-huh. mm-hmm. and he skates a lot of transitions mm-hmm. right and i and this is where I'm thinking, like, okay, a transition, for me, I'm thinking, okay, it might be easier to skate, right? Because you're feeling the transition going up. You can kind of judge where the coping would be, um, certain little aspects like that. Mm-hmm. It would, is that is that true or not um, true in certain respects to that? I don't know. I think it depends. I mean, you can definitely get more comfortable to the timing because mm-hmm. I just know from skating a ledge after a while, like... I don't have to count my paces backwards or forward and stuff like that. Sure. Um, like you, even the length of like a rail, like I'll skate flat bars. And if I skate it for, you know, 20, 30 minutes, 
I even know when that rail is going to end and okay. I can pop off the end. Got you. So I imagine it can get easier, but I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you can make anything as hard as you want. It, really. true. You know what I mean? That's true. Okay. Uh, Cause the last thing you want to do is fall off the end of the, I don't like too. skating transitions real sketchy to me. Yeah. Um, I'm just have a fear of, of, yeah, that, it's hard for me to get comfortable on a mini ramp and yeah. stuff like that. Did you skate you, transition before you were? Really yeah, I used to skate more. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I used to skate more transition back then. Oh, okay. I used to be ATV, not anymore. Not oh, anymore. Yeah. Ledges and rails. But oh, so in, in an Olympic situation, it would be like maybe just a, a course with like two very long ledges on either side, maybe mm -hmm. like a flat bar in the middle. Ops, other obstacles, I mean, be like a gap or something. Yeah, some kind or, of gap that has. You can use like tactile ground to like help make sure you stay on course. Oh, interesting. Or like identify some rumble strips where you're veering off course or a, a sketchy area. Right. Um, you can use that contrast for those who have a little bit of vision. Mm -hmm. So like a black ledge with a white cement ground. So it's easy for you to actually pick that up when you're scanning. Black ledge with a white cement ground. Just, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. or, or vice versa. Gotcha. So there's yeah. a like, contrast. So when you have that poor vision, it's easier to see, you know, that the distinction in those, in those two different colors, you mm -hmm. know, because I mean? it's such a drastic change. Um, yeah. Uh, and then the beeper, you can use the beeper the box. The beeper too. box. Yeah. Handrails. Is that rails? That be, yeah, seems I like, harder if other if Justin's using like a rope with knots. Yeah, and it, the only ones I've skated have like a bump to bar on top. Okay. So I use that flat bar to guide me to it, oh. and I tend to get on on the flat first and then go down. Yes, gotcha. That's what I okay. what I prefer. So I'm still searching for that perfect handrail out there. There's a well, hit hit him up if you're find one you know yeah hit me up <laughs> i'll just send him a picture though to grass on one side it. Yeah. It's, uh, front does, side does tim fulton help you out a lot looking or getting spots oh yeah. yeah yeah big help having him and my buddy steve steve ragash he filmed my first part pretty much mm -hmm. all of that um just good relationship with those dudes and knowing you know what spots like oh this could be good for dan yeah, yeah. um Helpful. yeah i feel bad being in the real van these dudes are jumping on these big rails and i'm fucking Skating ledges and flat bars. Welcome, Welcome to the club. Yeah, that's, like, that's, okay. that's, yeah, that's tour <laughs> life yeah, for you. In a, yeah, in yeah, a, in a, a you should go on a, <laughs> should go on a tour <laughs> with Ty Evans and the whole crew. Oh, man. Man. I'm just sitting in the van. Oh, you guys want waters? What you guys yeah. need? Yeah, um, stressful. Yeah. So, is there? Are you talking to Olympic committees about this? Are you like um, on trying to get this? Like, through? I'm on the the USA Skateboarding Adaptive Sports Committee. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's it's very early still, and right, the grind. But you're working on it. Yeah, grind for life has been. It's kind of like the big first step to actually have a recognized contest with scoring system. And then they had do tour last year. Actually, oh yeah, okay. they did do tour. Oh yeah, I saw you out there. Yeah, I blew it. Yeah, you blew. Yeah. You blew it. That was a. <laughs> yeah, I was two weeks off of my injury though, so no. I wasn't. I wasn't quite ready. And that that talk about a course that wasn't friendly for uh, vision impaired. Oh, okay. I had to skate this bump to bar that was like over knee high. It was meant to be a bump to bar. I was trying to skate like a fucking flat bar. Oh, no. Dude, that course was wild. It was yeah, it was that was pretty, for, pretty gnarly. Yeah, it was really cool. It's really cool to be there and see those dudes fucking shred that thing. Yeah, damn. Mm -hmm. Barrel heel back five zero down the Dude. that twelve stairs. Like, what? Yeah. That was insane. Yeah, that that was whole insane. line. Yeah, that was yeah. incredible. So on the course, we were talking about. Um, you know, figuring out if you're going to skate or not. You started getting hooked up. Jim Thebo mm -hmm. really helped you out. Jim uh, and Paul. Paul, Paul yep. Shire from Adidas yep. hooked you up. Um, I always get nervous saying that. I'm going to say it wrong. Adidas. Is that how you say it? Yeah, everybody no, says Chris, Adidas. Adidas. Say Adidas. Adidas. Adidas is just Adidas. fine. Adidas. All the guys at the office, I hear them all saying it like that. Adidas? Like the European way. It's just, that's yeah. the way you Adidas. say it. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you say Adidas. it. No, you're right. And mm. we've spun it. <laughs> <laughs> Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... So at that point, it was starting to like yeah, sway I, you to go yeah, skating and do yeah. that, go that route. To put school off for however long I needed to. Sure. But I finished that. Um, and then same, I think I was, yeah. So I was still doing like my internship for school and Adidas had a trip to LA, um, went on that. And then that's when I got my first contract was with Adidas. Amazing. Um, and that was a huge, yeah, huge fucking turning point in my skating and That's starting awesome. to believe in myself and stuff like that. So, right, yeah. right. So, because you skate for real also, mm -hmm. Adidas came first? 
Uh, real. I well, flow no, Jim first. was yeah, flow right. First, Jim yeah. was sending you boards and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, that's incredible. Yeah, dude. yeah. I mean, I mean, those too. are like the comp. I mean, real was the company I grew up loving. Right. No doubt. Um, I used to love just yeah the big nose and deep concave. So I was like, always rock those nose those boards forever. So. Mm-hmm. Perfect company, yeah. yeah Dude. And you got that, you get trucks from there, you get wheels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Need, Full man. on deluxe, yeah. Spitfire yeah. Thunder, yeah. Fish. What what's your what's your setup right now? Yeah, Spitfire Thunder and then I ride like a eight oh six SE full. Okay. It's the shape that is my favorite. Okay. Um and then Jess up. Jess up okay. hooks it up. There you yeah. go. Sorry, Kelly. No, it's all yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. What what uh you you I you said you were at Thunders? Yeah. Thunder, what size uh, uh, Spitfire? Uh, 53, 54. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like the, uh, what are they, the Conicals, Chronicles or whatever. Mm-hmm. Nice. The lock in wheels, whatever the fuck they are. Yeah. <laughs> Those are my fave, yeah. Well, that's yeah. amazing, man. Yeah. yeah. Adidas and, and Real. I mean, mm-hmm. just to get yeah, any skater, I mean, oh, just get a contract with them. Ooh. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. The shoe. The shoe's the hard one to get. Yeah. From what the shoe's I hard. Yeah. 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 Anybody, right. bro. You can so, especially these so days. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I what's, can't what's believe your, how fucking lucky I am. Yeah. What's your shoe of choice? The booze nits, all I skate. All oh, you yeah? skate. Mm. Yeah. What about it's the what about all them? I skate? Uh, the pointy nose pointy or nose? pointy yeah. toe pointy on toe? them. Sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I tried a bunch of other ones. I mean, I tried almost all of them. I think at one point, but I just kept going back to. And I liked the uh, they have somewhat of a cup sole on there. Mm. Got you. Um, I like I like a cup sole shoe, mm-hmm. and it's still not too thick. Yeah. So they still feel with it. I used, yeah, I, I used to rock the footprints in there, but haven't been doing that so much. Uh, the thing that tripped me out about those shoes was the heel, how it's raised up. Yeah, it's a little raised up. It, and yeah. that was the first time I've ever had a pair of shoes like that. This is, I don't 2012 uh-huh. or something I tried them. That's but you're, you're going to skate. I tried a pair right. just because I got a pair for free, and I was yeah. like, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but they were. it was a different feeling yeah you're to, up a little bit you're up yeah. a little bit once you got just or ld being super hyped on him oh he liked that yeah, yeah yeah but it was it's a different like it's a great shoe it's just yeah. it's solid yeah like they last i mean laces last pretty long on there so mm-hmm. it's just i just like the main thing is is the pointy toe that's like the main thing for me i like a small toe yeah <clears throat> like they cram my foot in there po- po- hey pointy toes the best yeah, yeah. It's good. Works, I, mean, I can't do flick. the shell toe stuff is it's more of a rounded. Yeah. It's more of like a blunt rounded. Yeah, that used toe. to work back in the day for some reason. Yeah. Man. For now, like I couldn't do this shit at all. Mm. No, Your no DBS shoe was my favorite shoe back in the no day. Oh. The, Velcro, the Velcro, the Velcro strap on it. Too. That was <laughs> my <laughs> favorite That's shoe, so dude. We were yeah. trying to find that uh, on the internet. Yeah. Man. It was like scarce. Yeah. Couldn't yeah, find. Could it. not find. Could find anything on Google. Really? Oh. Except Duranza dubs too. You could find too. anything on that damn. Yeah. Not find the wheels do. Damn. Wait. What was your favorite video? growing up um all-time favorite would probably be in bloom oh, tnt man. was my dude back in the day That's and then tight. i grew up on like on the four one ones, and then all the zero videos just stoked on that stuff sick um yeah in bloom yeah it's a, just it's all the trans real videos were big yeah time, hey. time to shine oh, that, thank you. uh in bloom was like so iconic to like oh, the new generation of what, like what this inspired the whole yep. industry and the mm-hmm. skaters, dude. TNT, Chris Cole, yep. P. Rod, Mikey Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. Was that Hernandez too? Evan Hernandez. Uh, Was he in that? I think he had a part. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Dallin, he did. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Such how do a cool you video. how do you get inspired now? Ooh, yeah, I don't watch videos. Um, because I can't. So it's like uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, how do you? I don't know. I, just, I don't know. It's just Music skating or? by myself. I don't really like, I don't do that so much. Like as a kid, when you would watch a video and get hyped. Yeah. Um, I just don't do that, I guess, anymore. Kind of forgot about that. Hmm. Like well, watching a video and getting hyped up. Yeah, I just go on and well, listen, skate my ledge. Here's the thing, though. It's like, I there's a lot of skate videos that we watch on the Experience show. And we watch, you know, it's like, I don't really get hyped to go skate nowadays, you mm-hmm. know, but there are those video parts that come out, you know, like Spanky's part that came out right. recently yeah. and like mm-hmm. things like that, like maybe a, a shot video or mm-hmm. whatever. And like, so it doesn't inspire me to go out and skate. Maybe if I watch the older stuff, uh-huh. like too, the stuff that I grew up skating, like that'll inspire me to go skate. Mm-hmm. But I'm just trying to imagine now, like if I didn't have something to watch, how yeah, would I get, get stoked? Yeah. How do like, what would I get? Maybe just going out and skating with the boys 
or just that vibe you get with the gotcha. with the homies. Right. Yeah, mine's know? just being going out with the homies. That's what I'm stoked on. Yeah. 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 Just being in the van or just with the homie Steve and searching for spots. Do you got um, a crew at home that you skate with? Yeah, regularly? I got a good crew. All the homies. Sick. Uh yeah, a bunch of good dudes. Um, That's one of the building foundations of skateboarding, right there. Just the it is camaraderie of sure. yeah. you know going out with your homies and like producing whatever you yep. can do that day, or even not producing, just, just being just out having with fun. Them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got ever. super lucky because all the homies I grew up skating with either they don't skate, the ones who do uh, moved away. So like I had to find a whole new crew. Mm -hmm. So like they're all younger. Mm -hmm. So I had to find this like the generation behind me, pretty much. Right. Um. So like. That was kind of difficult and like really uncomfortable, especially being blind and going into that environment and like having to navigate that, you know, of us learning together and you know, what things I skate, what things I don't. Mm -hmm. um, and just meeting all the dudes, you know, Adam, my fucking buddy. Yeah. All those dudes. I know I'm forgetting some names, but yeah, um, yeah man, that, that was really uncomfortable at first, but now it's just like super close with all those dudes. That's dope. And, uh, all good and they're younger and they, they're probably constantly skating yeah so dude it it, steve you know. my buddy sees films a video every year for like the last 10 years it's amazing and he's down i can hit him up any time of the day or night like hey let's do this he's in sick that's, sick. that's yeah. like the one of the biggest things too you is having call that upon film somebody right? like that yeah. bro that's yeah. the best feeling ever yeah, i got shit. really lucky yeah. um and then yeah i got a couple parks i skate during the winter okay i like to do buddy randy is always hooking it up yeah. Um, yeah. Are you working on any projects at the moment? Yeah, I have a Adidas part coming out any day now, and then I'm working on a second part, I think, hopefully by the fall, too, for real. Mm. Sick. Adidas yeah. part's already done. Done. It's Wrapped been up. done, yeah. Music wow. is done, yeah, everything. Yeah. I don't know about music. That might be the last. Okay, the yeah, last that's thing. the hardest yeah. part. That is way. Sometimes the it's harder part. than yeah. actually yeah. skating and getting it the tricks. Yeah. 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 yeah, but when it's music. Adidas, it's like, come on, let's get let's that go. Should go right away. That should go yeah. right through. Right. Did you shoot? Uh, you don't have to, like, I mean, maybe by the time this episode comes out, it'll your part will already be out, but you don't have to give us, you know, whatever. Did you pick the music? Did you, who? Uh, I gave some it? options. I don't know what he's, Mulhern's going to use. Okay. Oh, uh, well, Chris Mulhern, you can yeah. go with anything pretty I much. I trust he, him. trust yeah. him, yeah. I think Paul said my ideas were a little out there, so. Oh, we'll okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have shitty taste. I like country music. You like country music? Oh, really? I like I like cheesy music. Like, okay. Like, Give us an example. Like, like, I don't know, country and hip hop are like the two things I listen to, but like. I don't know. I don't get too stoked on new stuff very much. Yeah. I, mean, I think music could go with anything. You just gotta back. find the right music, like yeah. the right yeah. song to go with. That's gonna like kind of you know, yeah, make light of who you are. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. And if it works, it works. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. We'll you see. know, I trust Mulhern, so do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Chris, and sometimes the the filmer can see what would look good for yeah. you. You for know what sure. I mean? Yeah. That's he definitely, I'm sure, has a better idea of what the footage looks like and all that. I so feel right. like their their own. I've seen so many skaters that like they when they present a song, you're like, dude, you're so that's so out of touch. So out of touch. Like, mm -hmm. I want to skate this Lil Wayne song, and you're like, yeah. dude, it doesn't. And Lil Wayne is dope. <laughs> yeah. It is so dope. That song is awesome, but it does not work with what yeah. you got going yeah. on right it doesn't here. Doesn't work for you. I requested yeah. Creedence so many times. <laughs> <Yeah>. Creedence. Said, <laughs> nope. 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 Well, I could work maybe for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I could. Tied in things, I guess. Yeah. You, did you? Did no. When you're working with Ty, yeah, I just let them do, do just do whatever <laughs> right. works, bro. I'm Is not. that who you filmed with the bunch? Was Ty back in the it day? It was. I mean, Ty for the most part. Tim Dowling, Ty Evans, and then for the Transworld video was um, um, John um, Holland. John Holland. Uh, okay. So yeah, I think that's about. Yeah. What Did was that John picked the, song, the music as well? Yeah, I gave him. Don't I, about me, I, Raj, of course, Raj, <laughs> Raj. Raj Bagley. Yeah, um, he's films you the most. Right think, here. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 He's mm. yeah, he's got six cameras on me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, at least once a week. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean. These might be just regular, I mean, these might just be stupid questions, you know, but like when you put together a video part, right? Are you like you like Chris Mulholland's putting it together right now? How do mm -hmm. you, when the video part comes out or you're working on something, um, is somebody telling you, like, okay, we're putting this trick here, this trick here, this is going on with this no. music? Or <clears throat> no, I haven't been that hands on with anything like that. No, I just send them everything I have and I trust them to know what 
Hmm. I'm pretty much out of the loop, man. Like, I don't okay. watch videos and stuff like that. I don't know what's really going on except for, for what I'm in the van for and stuff like that. That might, be, that might even be the best thing. So it's, I just try to do none of the same tricks. This is the number one goal. Okay. And then, yeah, try to flip in or flip on anything I can. There That's the go. only goal. Yeah. There, there you Those go. Those are the two goals. Um, yeah, I think I would like that maybe, you know. Yeah, like hear what little... I have, but I trust those dudes. Like, yeah, this looks kind of uh, iffy, so take that out and stuff like that. Well, you sure. could probably like when you do a trick, you could probably just feel the way. That oh, you I know it. if it's sketchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. You're probably like, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna do that one again. For sure. Yeah. But that's a funny thing though. with filming though. It's like we we've landed tricks that are sketchy. Maybe a little toe drag. Maybe something. Uh-huh. The filmer's on the left side. He's not catching the toe drag. Yeah, it looks like, no, it looks fine. Yeah, looks completely yeah. fine. Sometimes you, you get know? lucky. Happens. I was trying yeah. to do a kickflip five zero one time, and I fucking like full on pop flicked. Feet left, board left my feet, and then landed. Thought I was rolling away. He's like, "No, nah, it didn't flip, dude." Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I like I, in my head, I landed it. Yeah, no way. Like, that was, I was perfect. Like, oh, it's over. Thank He's God. Like, I hate to tell you that. He's yeah. like, "No, nope, didn't flip." He's like, "Fuck, still haven't got <laughs> That's that." Amazing. That. Yeah. What were you laughing yeah. at, Doug? Yeah. Oh, about toe drag shit. I've had to blatantly fucking toe drag. I think on the Nolly uh, Crooked Grind Nolly Hill um, oh. in Philly, and like if. I, they let it ride. We're riding that yeah. thing. Go ahead. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Oh, it man. happens. It happens. Mm. I love that. Bro. Well, then you got your friends telling you, like, yo, that was perfect, bro. You're tripping. Yeah. And that's what you want. But, yeah. but that in your head, though, that's all, like, it didn't feel right. Yeah. So you keep wanting for to do it sure. again. Totally. It's weird how it or works. you just keep skating for another two hours and you're like, let me see that one again. Yeah. yeah. All good. right, that one's yeah, fine. Yeah, that one's fine. I'm that's sick of this. Work. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. Uh, Benny Han is so on true. me. Let's go. So true. No, but it's 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 very interesting. And like I said, man, like I'm fully enthralled in you know just what you've had to deal with and mm-hmm. continue to skate and and push and progress and I, it's it's it, dude, it's amazing, dude. It's I'm the luckiest it, person man. in the world, man. I'm Bro. like get to live the dream and just ride it as long as I can. Like I can. Yeah, I wouldn't give my sight back for sure to do this. That's you know? crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing, dude. Yeah, otherwise, I'd just be a shitty skateboarder, so. No. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. No, I know. <laughs> I know. I know what people are doing nowadays. It's like, God damn. It's cr- yeah. But th- well, that's the thing, though, is you can't. Yeah. Like, when you were saying, like, I don't keep up with anything, I don't do oh, it. I'm like, man, sometimes it's the best thing. Yeah, is not totally. to pay attention yeah. to what's going on and what the next guy's doing. For sure. Because you know? yeah. it just bums you out. You can do that these days. Now you can like, it doesn't matter if someone's getting gnarly. You can just do your own thing. If yeah. people like it, right. that's all that matters. Right. Like, not that's all that matters, but at least you're having fun. Yeah. And, this is all and as long as you don't get too deep in the scrolling, because you can see what's getting done, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't do it like, or the you homies can tell you easily what's getting done. Mm-hmm. You know when right. we were all growing up, it was only mattered what, if you're, what trick you were doing and how gnarly in the it style. was. In the style. Right. That was it, right. dude. Yeah. And if you weren't on that, then see ya. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, that was just the way it was. I do love going to spots, though, and seeing, like, oh, who did what on this? Like, damn, that's insane. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's yeah. cool. Right. So when you're going up to a spot, you're feeling the spot and yeah, the rails, touching everything. Checking it out. Oh, yeah. Like looking how tall it is and this and that. Yeah, where's my roll up? Check my sweep my landing. Mm-hmm. You know, if I have your left, what am I gonna run into? If I have your right, what am I gonna run into? Right. But um, even if you're not skating something, if you're just spot checking. Oh yeah, I'll just feel it all out. Yeah. yeah. Hands all over that thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how so, many oh, kinks, so how many wax the are there? Yeah. 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 Yeah, you're getting steps. to know it. Shit. Yeah, it's cool. Have you been like looked at a spot that like Justin Bishop skated and be like, "How the fuck did he do that here?" Oh, no, he skates Vegas a lot. Mm. Oh, okay. I don't think I've been to Vegas uh, once or twice, but yeah, I haven't skated out oh, there okay, with him. Okay. Uh, but I know, yeah, I hear what he does in the the bowls and stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's wild. It's cool. So, real Adidas. Good sponsors, Thunders, Spitfires, mm-hmm. whatever you need, right? Yep. But then, I thought it was amazing because there, a, video, a video came out with you, um, I think it was your birthday, and you were oh, at the park, yeah. and they gave you a board. The raised Braille board. The raised oh, Braille board. Yeah. We got it right here. And I was going to ask you- Yeah, that's you, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to ask you about- um, 
Which is amazing, dude. I mean, listen, That's shout so out Jim Thebow. Straight shout up. out all yep. these guys down at Real. I mean, they're really fucking amazing, amazing people. Very thoughtful. Mm-hmm. But um, the Braille, did that come into play at some point in time to, to so, learn how to do all that uh, read with your fingers yeah i learned like basic alphabet and everything on my own and then mm-hmm. when i had to go to school for vrt mm-hmm. i learned like all the way all the way through pretty much a braille okay um i was still really slow <clears throat> not the best braille reader because i didn't grow up doing it you know uh-huh. but i i know like enough to get me uh to get me like read signs and stuff like that mm-hmm. navigate and everything and I use it a lot at home, labeling like spices, things on the kitchen and stuff like that. Interesting. It's funny, man, because like those little things that I don't even think about right. is yeah. huge. I mean, sure. spices, yeah, yeah, cooking, the, like these little things that we obviously take for granted um, yeah. is is a big thing. Yeah, toaster oven, washer and dryer, yeah. microwave, right, everything, everything, yeah, everything. I just bought a house to label all my shit in there, like the. The breaker box, right? Yeah. All this stuff, you know. Totally. Um, those are the Congrats things. I'm buying a house, by the way. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. 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 Like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I got my house like two months before stuff went crazy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like before, you know, everything just like skyrocketed. I got so lucky. But, oh wow. Um, nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Those are things that drive me nuts. Are the little things, you know? Right. <clears throat> I don't right. get upset about being blind. I get upset about like. <laughs> forgetting where I put my shoes. Okay. Oh. Uh, running in, hitting my head on a million things during the day, you know, um. like making one wrong little turn, you know, that mm. stuff like builds up and like, you know, I just fucking lose my shit sure. every once in a while. Sure. Um, but yeah, Braille, man, it's like the h- huge, huge benefit, you know, of just being able to know what's going on. Because back in the day before, you know, we had screen readers and I can just r- go through the internet on my phone, mm-hmm. a blind person didn't have access to the world mm-hmm. and knowledge and anything mm-hmm. it's like that was like a huge part of uh bringing blind people into you know society and like being able to t- current events and mm-hmm. and read about history and all this stuff yeah. sure know? sure it was, a, it was a big step because now you are reading everything through our phones yeah and a braille thing you'd have to be literally sent something uh-huh to read it right. exactly you know yeah. Um, now it's yeah, way easier. I can just write on the phone. So yeah. that's why I don't use it as much, Braille, in like mm-hmm. books and stuff, because books on tape and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. Well, it's almost like anything, you know, it's almost like, you know, Braille could become somewhat obsolete in a in a weird way because like writing like writing is yeah. becoming kind of they kind of yeah, going away. They used like to that. teach, uh, you know, cursive, cursive yeah. in school. Like that's nah, nobody's just learning that. Yeah, they got their now. little iPads. Yeah, shit, everybody's yeah. typing <laughs> stuff out. You know, mm-hmm. but um, so when they gave you this board, because it took you a minute, because you had to like you were like, oh, I get handed a board, and then you started like feeling it, yeah, and you started yeah. seeing <laughs> the, feeling the bumps, really, and it, yeah, it was really really cool, man, really cool, yeah. for sure. Yeah, so I we uh. I was like, action realized, you know, real does that stuff. So Mm -hmm. Jim was like, hey, if you have any ideas to do that, I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to raise money to build a fully adaptive skate park. So like we talked about what would like the ideal skate park look like for Mm -hmm. visually impaired. Um, And then that's been my goal for the last like three years is to is to get this park built, design it so it's as accessible as it can be um, and then host like skate workshops and bring mm-hmm. kids in from like Detroit and all over Michigan into the park and introduce them to skateboarding and the mm. whole culture and everything. So, which I think it's amazing. Cause I, I, you've done videos on that as well. Yep. Um, which is incredible. Dude. <clears throat> yeah. you know? It's fun. I mean, Those are the funnest kids, you know? events. Yeah. 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 yeah kids, you're impact the kid. You wouldn't even know that you're impacting him, but you, yeah. you can change his life just right. by having yeah. him get introduced. Cause him I mean like, yeah. you know, even a little kid who's, you know, blind, Maybe he doesn't even think that he they, he At or all. she can do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot know? of the a lot of it is breaking through the parents too. Mm. Oh, you know, like your average parent is like scared to let their kids skate. It's like no, it's not really that dangerous if you're just like cruising around. Like when you're learning, like you just take it at your own pace sure. and figure yeah. it out. You know, sure. you're gonna get hurt, but like you're gonna be all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you make just, it through. Yeah. Um, so yeah, breaking through that barrier is hard, especially with the parents of blind kids and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um, but once you get through that and they see like their kids having fun and enjoys it, you know, they're always stoked. Sure. So, yeah, sure. Yeah. Cause I think skateboarding is different than, 
any team sport or anything. I mean, we all know it's, it's yeah. so individual. It's so out, you're out there, mm-hmm. you know, like we talked about with your friends and yeah. it's just so, um, it's a beautiful thing. You it know? is. That's why I fell in love with it was like, yeah, no sports, no coach. And just like back then it was still kind of, uh, you know, not accepted, mm-hmm. you know, I enjoy getting kicked out and yelling at people. <laughs> and, like, I love that part about it, you know, sure, running sure. from cops, hopping fences, like, that was the, that's one of the, that's like the funnest stuff that's as a kid. Part of it, yeah, yeah, you, you know. get to be a little mischievous as I a know, kid right? and do, do that stuff. Mm-hmm. So. It's like, you're like a, like a, a robber, game. like you're sneaking <laughs> in yeah. to, to do what you want to do and then I'm, get yeah. the fuck out of there without a little yeah. fucking curb yeah. in the yeah. parking lot. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah. You can yeah. hop in the fence at a school, you know? Yeah. You're yeah. just like doing your thing. But like, oh, I, I mean, tries. Ski- yeah. <laughs> Skateboarding, it, it's just, it's you against you, you know? That's mm-hmm. what it is. And um, yeah, very it's great, individual man. thing. So. so, and then they gave you this board. I mean, you must have been over the moon. That's yeah. Amazing. Stoked, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, they spelled my name wrong on I think the first time. What? <laughs> what did they do? Something got the braille got messed up. The braille got in got true me- in true deluxe fashion. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they had a typo. I'm blaming yeah. blaming Christian. I think. What does it say uh, on this board right here? Uh, the top says Dan Mancina, and the smaller braille in the middle, the bigger braille says Real R E A L. R E A L. And then the bottom says skateboards, just like the classic uh, oval. Yeah. 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 And then next to the wheel wells. Or the uh, yeah, these the yep. holes that says uh, nose and tail in braille. Nose and tail. Oh. And then on the nose, there's that one has the bevel nose, right? The mm. indent in it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's so my that's favorite. how you can know which one's the nose. Which one's your tail? Because I don't ride that a shod shape, yeah. dude. I don't ride the twin. You gotta ride the twin. <laughs> I haven't tried one. Actually. Oh, the My twin's the best. It's the I'm best. a big front truck, back truck person. Okay. I like to okay. Okay. That's that's what makes definitely. Yeah, yeah, but he was saying that yeah, you can just get used to it, I guess, and you can go any way you want. So but, was this your idea doing the bevel, the the cutout here on the nose? Well, I always roll. I still roll up a sticker. Usually the round sticker, like mm. size or warning label. I roll that up. Okay. And I put that under the grip tape. Where my thumb goes. Oh. So that's what I started doing, and I still do just out of habit. Um, but that that board make it feels nice too when you hold your board and you're like holding it, it does to throw feel, down. It does. It's actually a nice. It's I kind of want this on my board, dude. Right? I like know. Kind of. A lot of people love it. Just dude, that feel. That's yeah. sick. You could just hold it. Yeah. And I mean, you still get grip tape thumb, but like, yeah. it doesn't change still. anything as far as like the the feel and the nose. If you're no, yeah, it doesn't yeah, you don't feel it yeah. pop any right. different that's or great. any. Uh, yeah. Can I see it, Chris? I can't really. Yeah, it feels good. Oh, on the actual. On oh, the, yeah, like, I know. see what you're saying. It's it's literally like a if you took like a bevel tool yeah. and yeah. just cut out a little yeah. groove there. Your fingers, your three fingers fit in there perfectly. Perfect. Yeah. You can roll a little pinner cool. in there if you need to. Put a sticker over that thing. <laughs> I see how you okay. You could if you want. Um, yeah. But no, it's amazing. Um, and then they have the braille <laughs> on the top too. Yeah, that sounds like a breakdown of something like Dan is Mancina's it? mission to build an adaptive skate park, yeah, stuff like this that. This special braille uh, actions oh, yeah. realized board is our way of sharing Dan's vision of building an adaptive skate park designed specifically for visually impaired and disabled skaters. A portion of the proceeds will be going directly to helping make that happen. Yeah. How is that going? Are we We're close getting there. to that goal? Or do you have a, a, a certain dollar amount that you want or need? Do you have yep. a place to do it? What's going on with all that? So I have the land bought. You bought um, the land. It's going to be land adjacent to my house. Okay. And it's going to be like like a full-on, like pretty much as budget as we can go as far as building, right? like a pole barn style, uh, about 50 by 100 feet. Mm-hmm. And then I have all the designs done, New Line Skate Parks helped me out getting uh, full-on designs made. Uh, I'm working on permitting now, and then the big thing is raising all the money. So I need, like, I think it's 1 Hundred fifty seven thousand, I think, to get it done. And That's build. a lot of money, but it doesn't seem money. that much no. in yeah. terms of skate park building. Yeah, these it's, days. average I mean, park's a couple million. Million, nice yeah. yeah. Stoner yeah. Park was a couple million, I think. Yep. Really happened. Yeah. Some like it was a lot of money. Probably. Yeah. 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 So um, how, how? So how can we? We need to help. Yeah, we you need can to, yeah. reach out social media. Um, yeah, my. Not, I have a uh, nonprofit called it's called Keep Pushing Incorporated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So keeppushinginc.com. Um, 
And then I just accept stuff through Venmo or okay. uh, PayPal, and that goes directly into the uh, nonprofit account. Amazing. And 100% of that goes towards the park. Towards the park. Wow, yeah, that's right. awesome. Yeah. And so literally all that's left is the funding mm-hmm. partia, uh, portion of it. And then after the funding, we're, we're, we're breaking ground, baby. Breaking ground. Hopefully this, uh, yeah, hoping by next year it'll be fully done. Mm-hmm. I think I might have to start. I'm just going to do what I can at first. Maybe pour the slab, yep. get the park up, and okay. start doing workshops and stuff. I was like going to say, I can do, like, do you need the 150 like total, or can we do this in I can portions? get the Yeah, I could get the slab and park done, I think, in 56000 because the building's like the big freaking oh, chunk. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be inside, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm, I'm Michigan, so yeah, I'm going to get those harsh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But yeah, park, hopefully, uh, I could get that done first and... Yeah, it's already designed. Everything. Yeah, everything's done. All the designs. Yep. We could do this in phases. Yep. Phase one, phase two, phase three. But how how was the? um, You said it's across from your house. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's because my goal is to also have the kids come skate, and then like I can show them all all my fucking schooling I spent all that time doing. Mm. I can introduce them to everything I've learned in the VRT world. Okay. So like cooking, labeling things, Braille, oh. all this stuff, using technology, how to use a phone, social media, all this stuff. I love this. So I want to incorporate those kind of two worlds, right? I love yeah. that. Um, wow. And just stoke the kids out and get them just like motivated to do whatever they want to chase. So, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And w- is there, would you fly uh, people in? That would be it, the goal. Yeah. That'd be the goal. I think we're going to do like, the goal right now is to do like a uh, workshop once or twice. Thing? Yeah. Like a month. Mm-hmm bi-weekly or something like that where we actually just have the skateboard classes Mm -hmm. and then bring people in from out of state to have them come and literally just stay at my house with their family and then teach them all the VRT stuff and do all that. Have you been getting like people that wanting to come there or? Yeah, there's, I've, I've, there's like a bunch of kids. We're actually doing a workshop um, with Adidas in, I think end of May Mm -hmm. in the Detroit area. We're going to bring kids out at a uh, indoor park out there, modern. Okay. Yeah. Um, and do one of the workshops that we've done in the past, yeah. um, and just keep growing that awareness and stuff like that. Amazing. And then use that as a promotion to help hopefully get the park built one day. I have a few obstacles. Like I said, that legend quarter pipe. Yeah. Like on my land right now. So, I literally bought this house with this in mind. Oh. I was searching for something with that little bit of land where I could actually build it on. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So rad. Has funding already started for the, the Yeah, park? I've been accepting stuff. Yep. Cool. Man. Well, yep. we'll put the links in the description of the cool. video below. So Sick. if anybody um, feels like they need to donate or has the means to donate, please. Yeah. I mean, Greatly we'll, appreciate We'll donate as well. No cool. Go fund me's anything. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i nervous to do that. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should. I don't know. I don't know. I feel it's the like the same thing, isn't it? Like this kind oh, of. No, no. Yeah. Well, it's not GoFundMe. It's um, what's the other website called where it's actually like projects? Mm. Oh, Kickstarter. Kick? No, not Kickstarter. There's another. I know one. they have ones for nonprofit. Because yeah, yeah, where you can do it, and if it goes through that, they get the tax right off too. Oh. Which I think would probably be the best route because right now you can't get the tax right off because I'm just a nonprofit. I'm not a. I forget what it's called. You need something else on top of that to do mm. to get to make it a uh, actual write off. So mm. should mm. probably do that. Um, but then I know they take a cut though. They take like a pretty big cut on it. Oh, the GoFundMe does. They for do. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. some well, big like twenty percent or something. Twenty percent. But they be. take that from the people donating, that right? They don't take it from the. Yeah, but it still gets money that's it's taken. Some, yeah, I, well, no, the money they want listen, going. I'm to just trying to build a skate park, bro. Like, yeah, let's say, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? If we can reach it, we reach it. Yeah. So um, either way. God, there's fun. another website. I know it's. Every, I guess it's just people use it for because I feel like GoFundMe's are like you know with like uh, hospital mm-hmm. bills or this mm-hmm. or that or people mm-hmm. need help. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, it's yeah, easily like, like it can get out there easily. The GoFundMe's yeah. right. 100%. Everyone's spreading that in social right. media. Yeah. So that's why why they're taking a little bit of a a, yeah. a, a cut. Have you talked to the Tony Hawk Foundation? Or I have briefly, but they do. Uh, they're uh, public parks. Mm. Oh. So they don't do private. Mine would be considered a private park. Private park. park. Mm. But it seems like they could help in some sort of way. Yeah, I'm sure help. he's got... He, Alec has been helping me going back and forth and like working on like the proposal that I'm writing up and stuff like that okay. to okay. share with people. Sure. Um, and then like Jessup's getting on board and they're all interested Amazing. in that. So, And then other things like this, the Braille board and all that. 
Yeah. Yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. Amazing, bro. Any way we can, any way we can get it. Yeah. yeah. Well, if there's any way we can help, just let us know yeah, on our sure. experience show. I mean, we could even do an experience show yeah. where all yeah. of our donations get donated to yep. your project and stuff like that. I mean, we could probably love to do. Help. It'd be cool to do like a wrap. That board's coming out again. Mm. I think this there fall we're doing another release sometime this fall. -ish. We could do a raffle. That'd be cool. Yeah. Winners win a whole real package. Yeah, Listen up, Jim Thebo. A <laughs> yeah. uh, whole real package with the board and everything, and we could donate all the every hundred percent of the proceeds cool. to the what was it called again? Uh, keep, keep pushing. pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we could do that. That'd be really for good. sure. Yeah, for sure. Hey, I'd love to see this thing get built. That's the dream, man. Let's go, yeah. man. Let's go. Very Let's cool. I was yeah. wondering on that board, um, other than it being like your first like pro model board, like not, was this the first pro. or pro. Would, whatever your name on the board, you know? <laughs> Like, was this the first time you ever saw Braille on a skateboard at all? Yeah, for sure. Wow, cool. yeah. Yeah, and dude, actually, they're doing, they're, we're working on Braille stickers with sizes on the boards, Amazing. which will be on, I think, eventually, most of the deluxe boards. Oh, wow. So every board in the shop will have a sticker on it in Braille that says the size. I love that. Sick. Yeah. I love it. It's crazy. I love it, bro. That was the big thing I was really stuck on. I was like, what? You're incorporating yeah. that? That's fucking yeah. so rad. And that's all the deluxe guys. That was the deluxe yeah. guys' ideas, man. Yeah. It's very large. creative up there. They're the best. Yeah, they yeah, are. yeah. But also, they really think about like what the you know the big purpose. Yeah, the, and then, they do. You know, yeah, for sure, man. Been doing yeah. it that way. There's things you take for granted, and sight is one of them. Mm -hmm. You know, and we were just talking about the little things: spices, washer, dryer. I mean, the, I mean, even the sticker on a skateboard mm -hmm. that tells you what size it is. Yeah. I mean, like yeah, it's big. Those little things that we just don't even consider or mm -hmm. think of yeah. you know and there are a lot of visually impaired skateboarders out there like yeah most people don't think there are but there's i get it reached out all the time you know at least a couple of months of kids like hey i'm visually impaired too like i've been skating like i didn't i didn't know how many people there yeah. were out there so right and you're their community's growing yeah, yeah. you're definitely the inspiration yeah. for sure yeah, yeah. hope so thanks That's so man. cool man well you and i mean justin bishop i mean yeah, we talk about the guys yeah. from japan yeah. and there's uh, nick mullins nick, nick mullins nick mullins yeah. my yeah. buddy uh anthony ferraro he's my dude yeah, yeah yeah me and him teamed up we do a bunch of shit together he's been shredding that's awesome he's a paralympian man. judo dude really yeah. who got into skating and he's like full in it right now he's wow, that's so yeah. rad what about like um different things like um they have um uh dogs Seeing mm -hmm. eye dogs and the stuff like that. dogs. Yeah, you ever think about? <laughs> I have. I that's where I got my cane training. Was actually a place called Leader Dogs for the Blind, uh -huh. which is a Michigan-based company, or they're a nonprofit. Um, and it's a lot of uh, responsibility, and they have to be like kind of on a pretty strict schedule, because like the dogs, the dogs do. Okay. So you got to like kind of wake up at the same time of the day. They use the bathroom same time. Food and eating. Really, they're that regimented. Because think about having a dog like in like a normal work environment. Mm -hmm. Like they got to take bathroom breaks and stuff like that. So you got to yeah. make sure you feed them at a certain time, okay. so that they're taking a lunch when you take a lunch. Mm. All that kind of stuff. Cool. Um, yeah, I just live too much travel and stuff like that to have right. to to want to worry about that. But these dogs are amazing. It yeah. it's, it's incredible. Everything I hear, it, it makes travel so much easier. Really? Mm -hmm. Like you, you don't actually use a cane when you have a dog. Right. Mm -hmm. so they're, it, they're your guy. They are your guy. Right. So the cane you like are actually finding objects with and you're running into stuff and people mm -hmm. think you're like lost. But I'm just like feeling the environment. Sure. Figuring out where I'm at. The dog is trained to avoid those things. Oh, so he's wow. taking you on the clearest path and stuff like mm. that. But I mean, they even go, I mean, they know like traffic signals <clears throat> and crossing the streets, right? They're just the, yeah, the beeping stuff. Somewhat. They, you actually are signaling the dog when to turn, when oh. to stop, when to go. So you have to actually know your path wait and where minute. you're going. Wait, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute. So you, you have, have to, to tell that dog when you're coming up to an intersection, like find the intersection, he'll stop. And then you do a hand signal right or left to tell that dog whether you want them to go right or left. Wow. But they are trained to, like, if you walk out and there's a car coming, mm -hmm. they're trained to, like, actually stop and pull you back. Oh. But I've heard they can only do that so many times because it really fucks with them to, like, because they're trained to not disobey your order. Oh. So that's, like, a direct disobey to your fucking order to tell you to not, do not go. Mm. Huh. So you're not really, yeah, you gotta, you still have to know where you're going. Yeah. Right. So you are guiding the dog. He's just helping you avoid obstacles, obstacles. and stuff like that. And like find an open chair. 
he'll go to a chair. It might not always be open. Mm. So there's like different, <laughs> different techniques like use back of your hand to find the chair and stuff like that. It's incredible though. Yeah. I mean, just the fact that they have this stuff. I didn't realize that they were so regimented and, and yeah. then, you know, all, all this stuff that you have to tell it where to go and stuff like yeah. that. But it's still amazing that, you know, these dogs are, it is, I mean, they are smart. amazing. Yeah. Man's best yeah. friend, dude. Best friend. Yeah. With the dog and a little GPS thing, you can mm -hmm. go pretty much anywhere with that thing. Oh, that's interesting too. The GPS, you yeah, know, Siri or whatever tells it where to go. I noticed yeah. when we were you, you were earlier, you were uh, te checking texts on your phone and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, yeah, I've seen that. How did that? You how were doing it work? really quick Super, too. Yeah, the speed you bring the speed up really fast, so yeah. you can like fly through and read text and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, it just takes too long to do stuff because right. you can it can slow it down really slow. Yeah. Um, but the more you do it, you get you just get used to that speed. It sounded like it was going like really fast. Yeah, like, yeah. I, was really, I can bust it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put it into the mic. Yeah. So. Seven o four p.m. Seven o four p.m. Oh. Messages. Don't Messages. Instagram. Instagram, which I call Instadan. Instagram. Story Story. One direct message. One direct message. Direct message is one. One red message. Oh, real estate words mention me in their story. What? So just like, so what are you pushing on there? Like, how do I'm you? I'm literally just like, anywhere you touch on the screen, it okay. will, whatever you touch on the screen, it will read to you. Um, so you kind of have to know. The more you use an app, you get used to. Right. But how do you get uh, into the, the app? Are. Yeah, there's you're using one finger, two finger, three finger, or four fingers for all of your gestures. Okay. Oh. So single fing single finger double tap will select an app and open an app. Okay. But how or, do you know which app you're selecting? Um, you get used to where they are on the screen. Oh. Or you can just scroll through the screen with a one single finger swipe uh -huh. and it will start scrolling from usually if you open a new page, it'll start in top left corner. And then and then work like you're reading a page from left to right. So you can just scroll and go through if it's something you don't know what it is. Right. Um, or you can do two finger swipe down. It will start reading everything. Huh. Uh, three finger swipe up, like swipes a page up, you know, to actually scroll up on like a website or something mm -hmm. like that. Gotcha. There's all these finger gestures to do anything you need to do on there. So amazing. Wow, it's incredible. It is. That Definitely. was really fast. Yeah, he wants again. to get through his, all his mentions yeah. quick. Yeah. You know, it gets it gets a little iffy when you start getting slang and like text okay. or DMs. So you get sometimes you can slow it down, and then you can break it down by word, by sentence, or by character. Mm. So if there's some word that's like all slang, I gotta like do it one one yeah. letter at a time to figure out what they're You're saying. Like, what is this motherfucker saying? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He is said, "Yes, sir." Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> it's stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That with the speed sounds like yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. <laughs> well wow. i hope the skate park gets built yeah, i wish you the bro. best of luck with that and, and like i said any way we could help if we could do the raffle or Thanks. anything yeah, we could bring dude. awareness to uh we'd love to to see it you know um and yeah. even when it's built we'd love to come out there yeah man that would yeah. Be, yeah. Yeah. That'd be super know? cool because i'd love to see for a minute yeah you would love my house chill i'm right across the street from a couple lakes you can come really? chill and hang out uh, fish do a lot you of fish? i fish a lot yeah. really yeah. what do we got in there man okay, big uh, mouth bass large mouth bass yeah. okay yeah. Big, big bass dude yeah hogs in there <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know hogs. four pounders five pounders which okay. is big for michigan and then big pike mm. do you like pike. a lot of catch and release yeah i don't really keep anything oh you don't eat them i don't ke eat that stuff um I go walleye fishing on Detroit River sometimes, and that's good. What's a that's wa good fish. walleye? What? It's like a really white, flaky, delicious fish. Really? Mm. Never heard of a walleye. Big, sharp teeth, <clears throat> but they come through. It's like big, uh, they spawn. They come up in the river in the spring, uh -huh. and they spawn a bunch in there. So there's like, literally, you'll be sitting on a boat, and you can reach out and touch a boat next to you, and it's like that for like football fields. Really? What? Hundreds of boats. Wow. How do I and they're all the, you, there's a limit, so you only catch five a day. Okay. Um, and sometimes you go out there and you limit out in like 20 minutes and you're done for the day. Really? Damn, Other days fast. it takes a while. Yeah. Cause they just come in there like by hundreds of thousands right. come up and spawn in there from the Great Lakes. And you're just, people are just casting. You're jigging. So you're just dropping a lure oh, down. You have to go the same okay. speed as the river. So you want to, they call it a straight line. So mm -hmm. your line is straight in the water. If you have a curve to it, you got to speed up or slow down. Okay. And then you just jig a bunch and then they just hit pretty hard. Wow. wow. But I do... Mainly bass fishing because okay. right. what what I usually keep it to bring a little canoe out there. Yeah. <clears throat> What's the biggest fish you caught? Oh, that depends. I mean, I've caught big big pike that are like 
you know, over 35 inches. So you're talking big old yeah. nice. giant pike. Big, biggest bass was like a, caught a big smallmouth I got mounted. Um, I don't even know what it was. It was huge. <laughs> <laughs> but Is that wow. what you like to do like in your spare time? Or what, yep. what is in like an average yeah. day of, of Dan? Average Dan is wake up. Mm -hmm. um uncover the ramps sweep the driveway mm -hmm. skate for a bit and then uh or i might sometimes i fish before that or i'll skate first or vice versa okay. skate and then go to the lake fish got my i have a dog now a big old newfoundland oh wow you know what a newfoundland is it's like 130 pounds he's like, probably, Damn. probably come up to about right here it's like uh, a great dane yeah he's dope yeah. Dude, otter it's my boy otter yeah That's sick name. big furry yeah. big old furry freaking mess of a dog drool messy dog okay, really? um yeah but i love, i grew up with big dogs so okay, I, okay. I like it that's awesome um yeah chill with him mm -hmm. and then uh fish barbecue at night keep okay. it chill what yeah about then, when you're out here it's just skate yeah, yeah. straight mm -hmm. skate, skate either, i'm either with my kid or i'm skating here nice yeah. right right uh my favorite is ice fishing though you ever go ice fishing? You drop the cut a little hole in the ice yeah and i got a gas auger you drill a big hole pop up the shanty what like a, shanty, like a shanty, a shanty, you <laughs> pop up the shanty, it's like a tent, like a pop-up tent. Okay. And then you got a little heater buddy in there, a little propane heater, you get Ooh. that thing it's going. It's like a personal type tent. Yep. Or a, yeah. Or a two-person tent. Yeah, they go like two, mine can fit like four comfortably. Nice. You can cram a bunch of people in there. And then you have your little heater in there, it's all got cold. the heater. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you don't need a cooler, beer's already on ice. <laughs> there you go, man. It's nice. Dude. Put it off the ground, yeah. And yeah. so you cut the hole in the ice. You drill a hole. And then I, uh, for me, it's, I can't use a fish finder. Really, the, the top dudes, you use a fish finder to check, to check out like what's on the bottom, okay. the structure, where the school the fish are. Mm. So I'll have to do that all by myself. So I drill a hole, kind of jig for a bit, feel, see if I feel any weeds down there, have to move, hop around till I find a good spot. Huh. Um, this is the first year I did it on this lake. And uh, yeah, it gets a little a little sketchy out there just because I got like lost the first night I went out. Okay. Like, it's so easy to get turned around, and especially in an open area. Yeah. And when you're on a frozen lake, it's nothing but flat space. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> right. And usually I can tell with the, there's this wind chime. I can hear this wind chime. And that night I went out, it was like zero wind. So oh. Like dead silent out there. So I like walk out. I'm fishing. I walk back. I have a uh, post that I drilled into the ice and brought out probably about 30 yards mm -hmm. and then did another hole so I could follow this line out to get me somewhat in the right direction. I found that end of that um, and then like checked some other hole or something I had and then thought I was walking back to shore and then I realized, oh no, I'm not going back to shore. Like I should already be there. It got all turned around. It was just mixed up. It was like 1 a.m. too. I think Dude, 1 are you just by yourself? So I, yeah, I'm by myself. I was trying to call my girl, not picking up. She was already passed down upstairs. But like, I'm only like maybe 100 yards offshore, like where it's, my shanty is. long, it's two that's football a, fields. One, no, that's one, one football one. field. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say 200 yards? 100 yards. 100 oh, 100, yards. I think I'm not, it's probably not even that far. Maybe like 50 yards probably, maybe oh, okay. 60. Um, it's still, it's but like, it's easy to get turned long, around. Long. Yeah. But yeah, I eventually was just like chilling there. Like, man, can I FaceTime anybody right now? Because you can see my house. It's kind of on a hill. You can see my house from like, from my shanty. Oh. So I was going to just have my girl pick up and I was going to like flash the flashlight on my phone. Like, where am I at? Right. She didn't pick up. And then I heard somebody drive by on the road. <clears throat> and then I was, oh, road's that way. So. Road's that way. Yeah. Okay. I was just walking. I'm right picturing yeah. this huge lake and you're just in the middle. Yeah, like, no, just, it wasn't that okay, sketch. Okay. But I was nervous because it was early in the season and I didn't know how thick the ice was going farther out. That's another thing. So yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to keep walking. So I just yeah. kind of was stuck in place. For a <laughs> was, a dog, was a dog with you? No dog that time. No dog. Because that was my first time out. I wasn't sure what the ice was deep out. Uh, he's he's okay. still a pup. He's like a year, so I wasn't sure if he was going to run off. But yeah, he was it, hanging out with me this year. That seems sketchy. Yeah. What what is it like six inches or something is like the for ice? Yeah, you want at least five is like good five. to walk on. Okay, um, but we had good ice this year. It was, cause it's really iffy lower in the state like that. Mm -hmm. um, it can be you know two inches in some spots and like a foot other. But we had a good like solid foot at that time. Jeez. How cold is it out it's there? Safe. Like at that time? Uh it's cold. It can be it. it Usually stays right around like twenties, like low teens, oh, right wow. around there. Cold. But I mean, yeah. it's Cold. rare for it to be like, like when you get in the negatives, that's when it's it gets kind of rare. Mm. I went out one time; it was negative thirty, 
<laughs> and the propane, the propane wouldn't even work because the propane froze. Oh my gosh! Uh, really negative la- thirty. Really lasted, that was like back, like I don't even know, probably like that ten years ago. <laughs> I yeah. get cold when it drops to sixty over here. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Put on my little sweater. Turn the yeah, I it crank it up. I keep it comfortable now. Yeah. The it, older I get, is your dog helping you out with stuff around the house, or is um, it just like having it, like just running around? No, he's a fucking animal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I he helped me a bit, like find the trail sometimes. I kind of mm-hmm. got him to do that. I got him doing that this year a little bit. Mm-hmm. Nice, but he gets distracted. He's just a year, so he'll be right. running off and. Oh, it's a pain to have him out there. That's sketchy. Like, you know, he runs off and I can't hear him. I'm like, I have no idea where he is. Right. You know? yeah. Yeah. I get nervous. <clears throat> Are you going to take him to like a a dog trainer or some sort like that? Uh, no, he's getting better. Yeah. He's getting good. He'll stay pretty close. I have the little vibrating collar and it beeps so I can kind of keep him pretty close. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. But I will see when he starts. Uh, he still has his balls, so he's. I don't know if he's going to go crazy when he starts going through mm-hmm. puberty and all that stuff. Uh, if he'll start running away or not. I don't know. Yeah. My lady wants to cut him off. I want to keep him. <laughs> it's mean, man. Yeah. But sometimes they go crazy when they when they start freaking yeah. smelling the other dogs and stuff. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. See sure. what he does. Especially because you got a big ass dog. He's yeah. big boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People get scared when they oh, see him coming after him, but he's he's all he's all love. So that's good. Yeah, that's right. What um? And oh, on, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I would like to get a, a leader dog and like yeah, teach mm. him how to sniff out spots. Yeah. There you go. Find the skate wax. A dog that found skate spots. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> that would be tight. Yeah, that'd be cool. Sick ass ledge, little <laughs> little dog. He barks. He's yeah. like he just barks at you like yo, yeah. find a ledge. Yeah. <laughs> One bark is a yeah. I was about to say two barks. He's like this is the shit. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the one you want right here. Dad, you gotta sign. skate this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He could keep me. He could maybe help me with lines. Trying to do lines. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you I'm, gonna, have a dog I'm a dog fucking lead to the line. Yeah, because mm. I'm only a two trick guy. You know, ledge trick, flat ground trick, or something. Mm. Linking that stuff together is really hard. Right, mm. right. Finding the right spot and stuff. Yeah, is yeah, there sure. anything in skating that's like really difficult? Like, I mean, I could even imagine a ledge being difficult. Like you were saying before, mm-hmm. when you're trying to film something, it's like a million tries yeah. just to line up with the spot. Is there something that you get to and you're like, God, I just can't um, in this fucking spot, man. I mean, rails, I haven't done a handrail yet. That's on my list. But even flat bars, though. Flat bars, if to they're me, too short. Oh, too short. If they're too short, if it's only like a five foot flat bar, it's so hard for me to skate. Mm. So it's got to have some length to it. Any ledge or a flat bar, anything like that. Yeah. Got to have length so I can find it, align yeah. myself, and then pop. And then pop. I saw mm. a clip that Tim showed us. Yeah. Uh, a flat bar trick that was pretty insane. What you- oh, into the pop into the bank. Yeah. Thing? I don't want to yeah. say what it is because yeah. it's probably coming out soon. Yeah. Right. that That's like a short as I would go. Yeah. That, that's that's that was pretty short. Yeah, I was like, that was yeah. short. Yeah. yeah. But you just see me roll up. You see how I start really close? Mm-hmm. Like I start pretty close. I go pretty slow. Right. I go really slow, actually. I go slow to something and I'm like one or two pushes away, find it and pop onto it. So that's kind of been my, uh, just kind of what I've gotten used to. I got to yeah. probably expand and start getting some more speed. But Dude, no, I think, is, I mean, is yeah. there a certain Ooh. trick that you've done that you, it's really like the highlight, the, like your favorite trick that you've done? The hardest one you felt um, like? Just flipping in the stuff yeah. has been the thing this year that I've been like the most stoked on for sure. sure. What's a, what's one? Like that... flip flip 50s, flip 50s. Oh, sick. Um, yeah, front like front blunt kick flips, stuff like that. Front mm-hmm. blunt kick flip. Um, wow. Anything I can flip in and out, I'm stoked on. So yeah. I was I was tripping. You did like, I think you dropped down the manual yeah. to kick flip out. Oh, yeah. That was the original part. Yeah. Bro, yeah. that was insane. Manuals are tough. I don't do any of that crop stuff, dude. <laughs> I haven't even done a nose manual yet. I'm terrified to do a nose manual. Really? Well, that that is legitimately like scary, probably. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Round bars are just my favorite. You know. That's interesting. It's my favorite. Because I mean, there's um, not a lot of room for error. Yeah. Once you get comfortable, like when you lock in, you're locked in. Sure. You know, especially a cross lock, you're not moving around. A ledge, you can still. Get a little squirrely even when you're locked in, especially hubbas and stuff like that. And you can uh, still go sorry, but if you're on a rail, you're going down. You're yeah. in it to win it. And if you get up. on top of a ledge, you could slip out backwards mm-hmm. if you don't lock into the grind. Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, when that fully committed, yeah. Oh. You know when you just get on top, <laughs> yeah, you miss the grind, and you get slip. Yeah. yeah. Boom, back the on the ground. Yeah, Legs in the sure. air. Legs in the air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> yeah. I saw, um, you've had videos also in like the real team, uh, like uh, Torgi or Matters Apps for that matter, mm -hmm. um, blindfolding them. Yep. And yeah. them skating, which Matters did a pretty good job. You I did was good. Like, Whoa, it was like skating dude. like a three or something like that. Little yeah. Three yeah. And, like, really? Yeah. Flag. Bro, <clears throat> man, I was impressed, dude. But do you get a kick out of that? Do you get a kick out of like yeah. watching the or seeing Yeah, it's fun. The... Especially skating, watch someone skate a ledge for the first time is like, uh, yeah, that's the best. Yeah. Because that's where the real timing comes in. Mm -hmm. I think most people can do flat ground tricks with their eyes closed. You know what I sure. mean? Sure. Yeah. But when you start getting to a ledge, it's, it's really fun to watch. No, I mean, I got a kick out of it because, yeah. you know, it's just, like I said, it's not something that we think about, you know. Yeah. Right. Just like it's, you know, you, uh, skating is very, it is very visual, oh, yeah. you know. So taking that away is is pretty, um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. The hardest thing to do, I'd say, is like a long slide or a long grind. Because <clears throat> you lose, you use a lot of your visual, like looking down the line. Right, right. Like you're looking at the horizon to tell whether you're leaning right or left. Yep. With me, it's like, it's just what I feel over my board. Interesting. So that's the hardest fucking thing to do is a really long slide or grind. Like a nose yeah. slide. What? Like a board. I was trying to board slide this really long ledge. Okay. <clears throat> and I mean, I just couldn't, just like couldn't figure it out. Like I would just be leaning a little bit to the left and then oh. I'm off. I'm leaning a little bit to the right and I'm off. And it's just like. Once you start going, and then you can't really tell how fast you're going either. Hmm. Like even when you're sliding, you can't tell your speed. You can't judge it. Hmm. Um, even like you bomb hills, like you once you hit over a certain speed, you might you could be going max speed or oh, yeah. or, you, or slower. Like you, you just know, can't right. tell how fast you're hauling. Um, well, it's hard to like probably if you're skating a ledge, it's hard to read. Where, where you are on the ledge like yeah you, you, yeah you can't like you're not using your cane while you're sliding or grinding no. are you yeah uh yeah. sometimes i prop myself a little bit oh okay I don't oh. tell anybody yeah because okay. like say the edge is coming up you can't like use your cane yeah to, exactly it's like super... so i pop on everything yeah pretty much yeah because mm -hmm. it's just it's just easier to do that than have to get the timing down and figure that out right right um yeah that and then lines like i said especially like two ledges in a row like i could not skate like like two benches in a row like i couldn't skate that in a no. line you yeah. know what i mean Cause I'd i could find one bench and then i would just be lost yeah what about a trick before and then a ledge yeah i usually do ledge trick and then flat ground trick ledge trick flat ground trick. oh yeah if it's a yeah, long yeah. ledge yeah i can do either or yeah yeah. because yeah. i have time to find it got you <laughs> it's usually the go-to <laughs> yeah yeah the track after i don't know if it's a silly question but do you have a, a cane sponsor no i got hooked up from uh what are they called what were they called white cane is they're the, called white is canes. The term yeah okay. cane whatever I've had people call it a walker, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, what the hell was the name of the company? I don't even know. They don't hook me up anymore. They sent me a couple. Ooh, I, I, like I looked into starting a cane company, but it's like there's a couple people who just have that on lock. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Mm. And it's like an insane amount of money to get that mold made wow. just for to sell. How many canes am I going to sell? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's probably different sizes and yeah, all these different types. Yeah, there's every person has a different size and yeah. stuff like that. So is that made customly for you or? No, I just a cheap, I buy the cheapest ones I can on Amazon just because mm. I break them all the time. Uh, so I'll just oh. go and wait till I find like a good deal and I'll just like cop like five of them. Oh, really? And then throw stickers on them. And then uh, I use what's it called a marshmallow tip because it's literally shaped like a little marshmallow. Huh. Like Bishop uses a like that big, looks like a snowball, yeah. called a snowball tip and okay. it rolls. He oh, likes that in the transition. Yeah, it actually has a roll to it. Oh, okay. Um, there's a marshmallow tip that has a roll on it. It has a little bearing in there, too, like mm. a straight skate size bearing. Mm -hmm. Put a little bone swiss in there. It's nice. But those break all the time. Like, you hit them one good time, and they're snapped. Oh, so okay. I just stick to the basic marshmallow aluminum. 54 inches is the skate. 54 inches. And then my walking cane is different. It's like a nicer graphite, super light, 60, 60 inches. Is Why the shorter one for skating? Uh, cause I'm not like, uh, I want to be close to the ledge or whatever it is. Um, Got you. it's just closer distance. It's not as much weight, smaller and smaller in my hand and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Cause walking, I'm like actually moving kind of at like a faster pace sometimes. Gotcha. So you want it reaching out further cause you're, you know, 
gaining that ground faster. So you got to be identified sooner uh -huh. when you're going to run into something. So use like a longer cane. Huh. And the marshmallow tip, is that just, <clears throat> does it go over cracks easier? Yeah, that's the best one for cracks and stuff like that. Because you, you don't want the thing to get stuck in the crack. Yeah. You want, it to, you want to feel the crack, right? You want it to go over the crack and not you get want it, stuck. Yeah, you, yeah, you want a hard plastic so it will glide yeah. along, the grind, along the ground better so you're not mm -hmm. getting caught up. Um, and then, yeah, you're not really feeling cracks when I'm skating with the cane. That's more just under your, under your feet Okay, that you're feeling that stuff. Um, but like you want it to glide good. You want it to glide. Yeah. But they get stuck in like, you, like ledges sometimes will have a seam from the, like the ground to the ledge. Yeah. A lot of times it gets stuck in there. Um, just yanks it out of there. Flat bars always getting caught on the cross beams. Hmm. That drives me nuts. Um, and it's all bent up. You can see that. Is it behind you? Uh, it's that behind. It's right here. That one's all yeah. bent up. That one's it, lasting me a long time. See yeah. that tip on there? Yeah, that needs a I new mean, tip. That's all the way to no, the. No, no, this is this is no tip on here. This yeah. thing is gone. It's bro. gone. It's really <clears> bent up. Yeah. yeah, this thing is. But bent. that's supposed to be the marshmallow tip. Is yeah, that... there's a fresh one behind you. I don't know where Raj put uh, it. It's right behind you, Dan. Um, underneath the Spike oh, Jones me? DVD. Oh, the Spike Jones one. <laughs> no. Next, next one up. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah oh, you yeah, folded yeah. it up. Or no. Is it? Is that it? Yeah, that's like. Oh, yeah, like I mean, a, that's a let, crispy. Let's compare tips. Oh, tip. that, that, is, thing is that, thing, that thing's gone, yeah. bro. That's what that's. Are you kidding? That's that's what that is. That's, that's what that started that as. Yeah. It turned in from if it was a sixty millimeter to a twenty millimeter what? wheel. What? Yeah, you screw exactly. These things in or you, you no, it has this little J hook on J dub hook on there. J dub, uh, a little J dub hook. <laughs> <laughs> right J dub hook. Yay. Maybe Spitfire uh, urethane man. tip coming out soon. I don't know. Dude, that, that would be that would be that would be tight. So this is interesting, yeah. So this is like trial yeah. and tribulation of finding something that's good for you to skate yep. with, right? Yeah. Yep. And s back in the day when I would skate a gap and I needed that length, I would skate a longer cane to give me a little bit more time. Oh, uh, yeah. Here's some different ones. To feel oh, yeah. the drop. Yeah, those are the shredded down ones. Yeah, these Small, are Small, medium, and large. Yeah. Yeah. How long does a tip last usually? Um, <clears throat> these are the skate ones. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be a harder plastic. They sell like a cheaper one, that, but I haven't really felt the difference it'll last uh i'm trying to think when i put eh, probably like a month that a lasted month? Mm -hmm. okay and but sometimes i'll break them like i broke set one up and broke it like right off the bat when i actually when i try to do manuals or ollie up something um like i'll hit the ledge and then my nose will run into my board sometimes oh uh. Is, is there a certain um, point snap of, right off is there a certain point that we're like oh this is so buttery the way it's feeling right now yeah you, you break them in it's like yeah. parachutes <laughs> yeah. oh. so it, it takes a couple days like that one's got yeah that one feels nice so this new marshmallow tip will take you a few days to break in oh the tip isn't so much it's more the cane itself uh, okay. why, why the cane itself it's just rigid like super firm when you have it the grip feels a little weird huh okay. um is that used to? Is that like a red, white, and blue handle on that one? This one's a black handle. Oh, it's all black. Oh, it's it's really d this thing is torn up, bro. Yeah, it's shredded. It gets when I get sweaty, like I'll start slipping on it and stuff uh, like that. Okay. You can get all kind. You can get like a cork handle. You can like customize like pretty much anything you want on there. You can get any color cane you want. Mm-hmm. But you got some sponsor stickers on here. Perfect. Per <clears throat> perfect Shh, hydration. Don't say that one. Oh. Not anymore. No, yeah. Perfect hydration was on there. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have a Bone Soul Swiss sponsor, on yeah. there. There are some real ones on the bottom, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah, Spitfire. Bone Swiss, I see it. That yeah, was this, thing is, this thing is torn yeah, up. Yeah, it's shredded. Dude. How much are one of these? The uh, like cheapest, you said on Amazon. Yeah, yeah, cheapest yeah. I can find it is probably right around like $15, $20. But they're usually like 30 bucks a cane. 30 bucks. Okay. 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 So I don't pay for boards anymore, but I still pay for canes. Yeah, let's get, I know, oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you should I don't mind it. That's all right. But it's a lot of money though it. because you're uh, going through these things like, like yeah no I run other, I run yeah. through them you know I've broken like at, at my house like a couple what, uh, was, I think fall I snapped two like one try snapped it went upstairs grabbed another one snapped it next try <laughs> I was like dude come on no sometimes yeah you just have bad luck with them well because these are they're foldable right you can unscrew yeah those will yeah um, it's almost tension based it's so you pull them apart yeah there's an the elastic rubber band in, in the worst is when the the tip breaks off that J hook the J dubs hook will yeah, break off of there right. and then that elastic thing will shoot up into the cane 
and it's like the biggest pain in the oh, ass. Oh, it snaps. Uh, Fully snaps. Yeah, it's the oh, p- biggest pain in the ass to push that back out. The tip is connected to the rubber to band. Their rubber band. That's why they got yeah. the J-dub. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes. The connection inside there. The J-dub. And I love it, man, because I, I'm learning a lot, dude. Mm. I, I don't, no you know, yeah. I don't really know too much about it. Last contest, Bishop broke like, I think like four or five of his tips and his wife's just at the top of the bowl switching them out. Switching them out. Because he'll throw his cane a bunch. He'll like lock into something and just toss his cane down like the 10-foot bowl and it just shatters. But see, now this is something that I, I think, like you said, like a couple companies <laughs> corner the market, right? Mm-hmm. There's a, you know, they, they supply all the canes. But I feel like a person like you, knowing what the hell's wrong with the cane mm-hmm. itself could... Make a better cane. Yeah, more. Uh, you know what I mean. Just tough. I mean, they like sell these, better ones. Like I thought you could. I mean, I could make you've one. Probably tried out of a, a bunch of different ones. Yeah. expensive ones and expensive yeah. oh, ones. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, they make them on a carbon fiber. They make them mm. out of like anything you can pretty much imagine. And I thought about just making one. It was a titanium rod. Oh, that would never break. But then number one, it doesn't fold up. Yeah. And it's heavier. So it's like, do you really want that? You're kind of balancing the, uh, the yeah. two worlds. Because you do want them as light as possible. I mean, these are aluminum. I like them real light. These yeah. are aluminum with the hand. The handle's probably the heaviest part on this. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On this cane, for sure. And then with the big snowball tip, it you can feel that a lot. You know what I mean? It's like putting a pair of 60 inch millimeter, 60 millimeter wheels on your board. Right. So I don't like that feel. Gotcha. Um, Got I like you. it just light as bare. Yeah. It's just me and my board and that's it. Right. Yeah. Right. Hmm. And yeah, I switch that grip out sometimes. I had like a colorful one on there before, but hmm. get that in there. <clears throat> one day pro model cane. Yeah. Oh, be yeah. Sick. I literally cool. called like the big company. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Hey, can I just buy like, uh, the pieces of the, like a bunch of different pieces for the canes? And I told him, like, yeah, I just want to, like, start, like, my own little cane company. He's like, do you realize what you're asking me right now? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to sell you stuff to start a company to compete against right, me? Right, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't at Should've it. Should have left that. Should have left that one out of the I should have. I was like, I'm an idiot. But yeah. <clears throat> Is there cane companies that, have, like, sponsor, like, athletes and stuff like that? I don't in know. I, I reached out and, like, really, sh- like, pushed the idea, but I don't. I don't haven't heard of like a yeah like a pro model cane or anything like that. And I feel like maybe these cane companies as well have been in business for decades. They have, yeah. And you know, if it ain't broke, why fix it? Yeah. They yep. probably just have their business model and that's it, you know. Yeah. They're so outside of the Right. Especially skateboarding world, you know. Sure. <clears throat> sure. You know, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of runners, you know, a lot of well-known runners mm-hmm. and But they're not bashing Olympians. Yeah, they're not really smashing the canes up. Right, yeah. Right. I need a nice, yeah. I need a nice bashing cane with a good J Dub. Some people, on. yeah, yeah J Dub Spitfire, yeah, it's sick. It's fascinating, dude. Yeah, it's, it's really, fun. it's really, really fascinating. Yeah, the cane. I really I took a while to get used to it, but now, like you know, I literally don't can't leave the house without it, and it's just become it becomes you know an extension of the sure. body. As the it's, it's just extent. It's like they say it's like an extension of your fingers or hands because that's what you're feeling on the ground. Yeah, and you can pick up a lot off of that. Uh, like you can feel, even like in the snow, you can feel a difference if you're on top of grass or you're on top of cement just by like tapping it and stuff like that. Mm. So when you come into a new environment, like you came in here today, are you, do you like to just like look around and feel, Slow. feel everything? Yeah. If I was going to be hanging out here or like staying here, I would have to like map out the map whole place. Out. You know? oh, right. Mapping out a lot of cameras around here, so it's a little sketchy. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> yeah. tripods, a lot of, a lot of lights that could yeah. uh, fall over. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I map every every spot. Um, once I map something out, though, it's in the memory bank mm. for pretty much forever. You know, I've gone to restaurants like <clears throat> one time and gone like a year later. Oh, and you can still pretty much remember like yeah. where the bathroom is and all that stuff. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Unless they remodeled. Well, yeah. I got I get in tr- I get in trouble when you don't have the cane. That's when you get in trouble. Like when I first started losing my sight, I was at the bar the one time, and I'm, my lady's to the left of me, and I kept she would say something, and it's loud in there, so I'd look over to my left, right, to mm-hmm. like listen to her, and apparently, uh, I kept looking at this guy, oh. and like I don't know where he's like, what are you looking at, bro? What's up? And like squares up to me, he's like, let's fight. Well, you keep staring at me, dude. I'm like. Whoa, at first I know he was talking to me. I was like, you talking to me? 
He's like, yeah, let's go outside, dude. You keep looking at me. You keep looking at me, man. <clears throat> and then by this time, everyone at my table caught on and started yelling, like, he's blind, he's blind. And then like all of his friends at his table realized, yo, 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 chill, dude. He's blind. And then he figured it out huh. and fucking de-escalated the situation. Jeez, but, jeez, Yeah, dude. you can get in show almost. Well, then that, then that same night, I'm walking to the bathroom and I'm like, have my sh- hands on my lady's shoulder, uh-huh. like Congo line kind of. Mm. And then these two ladies go onto my shoulder and start Congo lining. <laughs> oh. And then like, they're like, oh, he's like, oh, you visually married? Like, yeah, we figured the way you were walking. So I figure there's two types of people in the world. Those who come to the bar who want to fight and those who want to dance. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. You got to pick which one you want to be in this world. All of a yeah. sudden there's a Congo line hey. into the bathroom, man. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that could get a, a very frustrating. Yeah, when you don't have that quickly. cane, people don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like know. you said, I mean, you said in the very beginning, it was, it's more of an indicator mm-hmm. for people. For everyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure, for sure. But yeah, wow. must have been just staring that guy right in his soul every time. Jeez. <laughs> it, it, it affected him, huh? I don't think he wanted yeah, the Congo Yeah, he wasn't, line. no. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. He wasn't ready for the Congo line. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. But yeah, like I said, I, I, I love learning you know yeah um because i honestly i don't know that much about you know do you know anybody who's blind do any of you guys know anybody i I don't um to be honest yeah there's like nobody like even when i grew up i never knew anybody who's visually impaired so it's like it seems like a small world when you're on the outside right i mean obviously there's you know 50 million visually impaired people in the u.s and like 300 million over the world Mm. there's a lot of us out there sure but like you just don't just don't see it. You know what I mean? It's not in like, you know, media and stuff like that very much. Now it's starting to be there and now people are having more independence and like, it, now you start seeing, you know, more vision impaired people. Well, I think it's like people like you who really, yeah, you know, put a of, voice to it mm, and, you know, yeah. do stuff that's incredible, like skateboarding. Yeah. And, I mean, just <clears throat> even in the skateboarding community, yeah, you know, alone. The advocating yeah. it's big. blind people to ride skateboards is yeah, fucking huge. I have <laughs> a family good. friend uh, over time, like my uh, my friend's mom uh-huh. lost her vision over time. That's mm-hmm. the only one that I yeah. know. She like older, older. Yeah, 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 for kinda? sure. Yeah, yeah, most people. Yeah. That's what you think. I used to be like the youngest guy in the doctor, the youngest person in the doctor's room, you know? Mm-hmm. When I would go in, I'd be like all geriatric people in there. I'd be like, man, fucking young. But I, I went yeah. to Phoenix Am uh, last week and I met two uh, what, a hearing impaired. Oh, really? Was yeah. It, uh, I bought Brian Estrada. I don't know him. I He's know from Brandon. Familia. Oh, okay. Familia. Okay. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He rips. Damn. But it was like I haven't uh, interacted with anyone like that yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, So it was like he came up and he was super psyched. And I was like, oh, dude, I totally know who you are. And then we we're just going back and forth on like sharing each other's phone. You're oh, just yeah, texting back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was really cool just to, like, just to talk with him like yeah, that. Yeah, you know? And, you know, I think... Um, I don't know if this is worthy of putting in the edit or not, but like sometimes it's like when you've never dealt with something like that, it's, mm-hmm. you don't know how to interact and you, you just want to be helpful and yeah. whatever you can, yeah. you know? And I don't like a lot of people are not used to dealing with that. Yeah. yeah. So, well, that's why these conversations are amazing yeah. and to yeah. learn about everything. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. My life be- becomes like, and I have to be an advocate, you know, day to day, just mm-hmm. traveling every second of the day when I need a new person, I have to keep that in mind of like, this person probably hasn't met or dealt with someone who's visually impaired. Right. Which is hard to do sometimes, you know, when like you just people wanted... come up to you in the airport and try to give you a wheelchair and you're just like, no, like I don't need a wheelchair. Like mm, yeah. <clears throat> stuff like that. Or like they always try to take you to the elevator. It's like, no, I can take the stairs. Um, yeah. You have to be an advocate. Now, right. You know, when you're out in the world and like make sure you show the blind community in a, in a positive way so well i think it's just it's all about education as well you <laughs> yeah know? it's all about like these podcasts you have your own yeah. podcast right that yeah you do? um i have one with my buddy anthony uh-huh. ferrara it's called four bad eyes uh-huh. f-o-u-r and we have everything ticked out across the board it's all four bad eyes um we talk a lot about that stuff skating mm. he's the one i was saying just got into skating and stuff okay so mm. he's ripping um yeah you can hear all kinds of conversations all the crazy stuff we ran into and our adventures along the way and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. yeah. Good times. Man. No, I, you're right. I mean, thinking about it, it's like I I don't know anybody that's blind. Right. You know, 
don't ever and like i said we take so many things for granted you mm-hmm. know sure. and just uh I'm still tripping out on just the the spices and stuff like that. And like, <laughs> what is it, honey, or is it something the else? Day. Like, yeah. there, there, there's so much yeah, the salt to and our pepper, life. You know? Salt, yeah. pepper, is yeah. cumin. Yeah, <laughs> is, it, yeah. is it cumin? I just put cumin in my coffee. You know, it's like yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. these things are very mundane, but yet very yeah. important. Totally. You know, yeah, everything has to be very organized for sure <clears throat> at home. For sure. So like, you're clean. You clean or messy? Pretty clean. Okay. Just, okay. or I don't know, just organize in my own way. You know okay. what I mean? Like if I put something there, it's got to stay there. You know what I mean? My lady yeah. will move it. Like, where is the whatever at? Like, oh, like yeah. how I move it in the other room. It's like, come on. No. Stuff like that. It's got to be very, you know, regimented and stuff like that. Right. Like where's the remote control? Yeah. yeah. All that stuff. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot, uh, man. Yeah. I love cooking though. Yeah. yeah. What you cooking? I chef it That's up. amazing. Everything, yeah. man. Pasta is my, my, my go-to, homemade okay. pasta. Some bolognese or what? Uh, I usually do the, uh, I make my own Alfredo. Ooh, or I'll do, yeah. you ever have the, what is it, like cacio or pepe or something? It's just the pepper, um, Parmesan cheese, and butter, and that's it. Wow, oh, that sounds so delicious. Yeah. But I got the little pasta roller machine. Oh, you got so you make, make your own Yeah, pasta. Yeah, you got to make your own dough, dude. It's not that hard, and it's like, the greatest meal you Jesus. ever had. Wow. Roll out all your noodles. Okay. Yeah. That's I right. go in. Yeah. Wow. It's fun. I do blue apron. <laughs> <laughs> Proud sponsor? Not no. Yet? Not I, yet. Not no, even I fun, bro. Yeah, I just, he's I, been back in that shit. Yo, he, I love it. You I haven't tried that, that actually. Yeah, I, love yeah it. I haven't either, but Chris has been running that for A like long, years. Years yeah. before we started the show. Is there uh, an has app that goes in? that much money? Holy shit. I would say Fuck. It's weekly. This Weekly, someone should, wow. someone should look about how. When's the first time you mentioned it on the show? Because it's got to be like one of the first ten episodes. Man, wow. yeah, he's been. Doing but listen, that long. here's the thing with Blue Apron, okay? And this is not sponsored. <laughs> we don't. I'd love to get sponsored by Blue Apron. Are you kidding me? Yeah. But I've never had a bad meal. Everything. Yeah. It's like cooking for dummies. It's all laid out for you. Yeah. It's in, in. If you don't want something, you could omit it, or you could add something to it, or right. or change up a recipe as you go. You know, it it familiarizes yourself with cooking. Mm-hmm. You know, and I used to hate cooking. I hate. I still hate it. Yeah. But it lays it all out. It's easy, and then bro, the meals are great. Yeah. And now they're introducing. You know, like um, they should fucking pay me. <laughs> They're I'm they're introducing this breakfast lines. Oh. They have like oh, okay. they have like pre-made meals already too, which are, are you know they come in a little container heated up in the microwave, so you could add Ready on. To go. You could give and take, add on to you. Know, oh, I'm gonna get this meal. I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna get these that are homemade. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna or, or uh, pre-made. I'm gonna get these. How That's much easy. is it? <laughs> Trust me, it's like sixty bucks a week. Oh wow! But Oof. think about it. Think about how much yeah. a meal for two <clears throat> costs. Oh yeah, one meal that yeah, you go no. out and get. That's for five fucking uh, meal. No, 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 no. Oh, three, that's a full three, week? three meals. Okay, for a week. Okay, okay. so you're getting like twenty bucks a meal. All right. yeah. yeah, right. Okay, yeah. but listen, I gotta eat. I gotta <laughs> eat. If I'm not eating, I mean, I'm throwing in my uh, 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 pizza. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I'm throwing yeah. in whatever. But. Trader Joe's pizza. Yeah, yeah. Barbecue chicken. Yeah, I spend crazy money on like Uber Eats, especially now I'm like staying in the hotel. Oh. It's like Uber Eats almost every night. It's like, and that's sixty dollars right up. there. Yeah, for oh, a pa- chicken parm. Your there basic you is like, yeah, you're spending forty bucks at least just for, for sure. like a one. Yeah, meal. Uber yeah. shit, five man. Mm-hmm. For there sure. Goes. Yeah, and Postmates, they love motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All, of them, all of them. Yeah. Straight, uh, man, is there anything that we should? Because <clears throat> I think it's fascinating with technology nowadays, mm-hmm. and you know, helping the visually impaired and helping just people who have you know dis- some types of disabilities. Is there stuff out there that exists for for blind people that are just a, a necessity? You know that you've discovered. Uh, I would honestly say, just the phone, knowing how to use phone. your phone. Because <clears throat> if you can do that, you're good. You're uh, you can chilling. do. You can get your Ubers. You can get your transportation is covered. Yeah. That's like one of the biggest things is losing your license and your big part of your independence. Got you. Um, that learning Braille. Yep. Um, and that white cane training. That's. I mean, that really changed your your life. It, it feels did. Like. It did a lot for sure. That was a big shift in in my whole mindset and mm. uh, how I looked at blindness and stuff. So. Right. And then as like a VRT, my schooling or whatever is what. Uh, 
like we that's what we teach we teach everything from a to z except o and m is what they say vision vrt stands for uh vision rehabilitation therapist gotcha. or vision rehab teacher and what do they do with that it's everything you can imagine of uh being independent pretty much so mm. within the kitchen learning braille learning technology computers phones huh. um everything man so like basically what i would do is go into someone's home and they would say these are your goals like okay i want to uh you know prepare this meal or something mm. like that or i want to learn how to use my ipad um and then i just give them break everything down to little steps and teach them how to use that stuff and get them on their way and being independent and stuff oh like so that. you were actually a teacher i did my internship okay so i had to do like what was that uh i don't even know 300 or 600 hours Got you. of working uh, with like actual clients and stuff like that right um and then yeah there's a there's a big community like at the va the veterans mm -hmm. um one of my buddy works for the one in long beach uh, they have a really good program, stuff like that. But every, I would say anyone going into sight loss or if they have a parent, grandparent, or anything like that, like you can DM me and I'll help you figure out the services in their area. Cause like you should, it's all free too. Uh, like all this stuff is federally or state funded. So you can go and get everything you need to get your life back on track. Beautiful. Um, set your goals and go That's, from there. I love and, that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. See, I had no idea about any of this stuff. Yeah, it's a whole world, man. I, and it's the yeah. dude, I would also say if you want a job, it's like such a chill job as a VRT. Mm. Um, is it a government job? <clears throat> it can be if you work for the VA government. Okay. You get all your benefits. Great, sure. great place to get in, work your way up. Or you can work for nonprofits. Mm. Big one in California and kind of all over. They have, I think, like seven satellites. It's called uh, Lighthouse for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Um, it's a big headquarters in San Francisco, but yeah, either government or nonprofit go that route. Um, and they, it's like really relaxed and most like you can just wear jeans and a t-shirt. You know Perfect. what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like, everyone's like there to help people, you know, it's like teachers. Yeah. You know? They're just like cool people who are down to help out humanity. You know what I mean? I love yeah. it, man. I love yeah. it, bro. Yeah. Your story is very inspiring. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah, very. I want to thank you personally Definitely. for... Just what you're doing in skateboarding, you know, and Thanks. bringing an awareness to the visually impaired and blind and, yeah. you know, really just opening the doors and, you know, just like, just, I don't know, skateboarding is such a rad yeah. place yeah. that, um, for everybody, it is bro. for everybody. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you yeah, know, we, I do open some doors up and for there's sure. more, more blind dudes on more teams and stuff like that. And, uh. It's been all love, man. Yeah. Greatest man. community. And thank you guys for doing this show. Oh, man. It's amazing. Our pleasure. And this, you know what? This, <laughs> this is kind of where I used to get stoked on skating, mm. was listening to this. And uh, just like, I don't even know, like just getting my news on skateboarding, yeah. too. It was okay. like, here, this is where I learned about everything. Oh, um, wow. in skateboarding That's so cool. yeah I love that well, thank awesome. you dude yeah, thank you guys yeah, yeah. We, yeah dude we're hyped to have you we here. don't think about it we we you know we just I love talking to people we mm -hmm. love skateboarding so much yeah I think yeah. that I didn't even realize you know that people you know what I mean like that inspired you and yeah. stuff like that dude, podcasts are the best for me they're it's cool kind of my go to man. love That's it cool. man love sick it. So, Jacobs thank you Chris thank oh, you yeah, Kelly Damn. Raj and back thank you guys yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. bro thank but you, time. Yeah. so we got the skate park that's going to be built for visually impaired yep. mm. across the street from your house no less sounds yep. amazing so we need to raise money for that definitely um, and, and like I said anytime you just let us know Perfect. And yeah. we'll, whatever we could do to help. Yeah. Of you can, course. You hit me up, Dan the Mancina across the board. Boom. And, uh, yeah. All that stuff. And, um, and then we got a video part that's dropping or it could have dropped depending on when this episode comes out. Yep. So we got the uh, Adidas part and we got a workshops that you were mm -hmm. working on with Adidas as in well. May, yep. In May. And, and that's in, that's in Michigan as well. That'll be, yeah. Mich I think it, right now we're trying to do Michigan, uh, uh, Portland and San Francisco is the goal. So we'll see. dope, yeah, oh, yeah, dope. And then uh, anything else that you're um, working on that the people yeah look out know? for the another board Braille board release sometime mm -hmm. in the fall. Another part to uh, go along with that because that'll also help support the skate park. Yep, as well. 
sure. Yeah. Awesome. That'll kind of be the big push for it. So yeah, we go. keep pushing. Keep pushing. Much keep love. Pushing. That's right, bro. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, d- what, this isn't over yet, though, bro. No. We Uh-oh. need to. <laughs> I would love to. If we can give you some nine club stuff. Oh, yeah. the swag! I forgot. Yeah. No, yeah. Bro. Can't forget the swag. I forgot. Yeah, we got some special J Dub pieces. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we got, uh, <laughs> it's be tight. Uh, we Kelly, have it in front right you, here. No, wait, gonna grab it. Kelly's gonna yeah. go grab right. it. Yeah. If you, you know. what, uh, do you have a mug? Of yes, course, mug is go. We got mugs. We got Yeti stuff. We got all kinds of. What shit. size? Yeah. What size gear? XLT baby. XL. XL. Okay. Yeah. okay. What about sweaters? Same thing. XL. Yeah. XL. Okay. XL. Are they big? Big? No. Nah, yeah, no. No. They're just normal stuff. Yeah. You know? Sick. Hell yeah. So from here, you guys are gonna go. I mean, you've been out here skating a lot. Yeah. So my you're... my skating trip is now. I get my son tomorrow. So. Oh, cool. I'm getting to relax, rest the body, and then yeah. hopefully it'll be warm or warmer when I get home. There you go. Mm. Yeah. No more ice fishing. No more ice fishing. Ice Sad, but done for the season. But I uncovered the ramps for the first time a couple of weeks ago. Oh. That was nice. Thawing oh. out. Thawing out. Thawing, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. I mm-hmm. love it, man. I love it. I love that you just, you know, this thing happened to you, you mm-hmm. know, but you didn't let it stop you. You know, yeah. if anything, it, 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 you know, made you go harder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, you know, it like if you can get through that hard time in your life, you right. know, you got to get through it. But once you do, it's majority of the time, man, you're a better person and better things yeah. come to you. So. 100%. Yeah. And I, I think that, uh, that goes to say for a lot of things anything. that transcends skateboarding, yeah, right? I mean, sure. uh, blindness or whatever, you yeah. know, it's like so many people deal with a lot of, you know, tragedy, adversity. Yeah. I mean, they deal with a lot of stuff, you know, yeah. you can get through that. I have it easy, man. You know, there's a million other things that can happen that are hundred percent be a lot harder to deal with. So no doubt. totally. That's uh, great that you have that perspective, bro. Cause you know, obviously yeah. I think a lot of people would just crumble, you know what I mean? And yeah. be like, fuck. And just try to, you know, feel sorry for themselves and yeah. just you know I, i'm glad that you you know you utilized and really took it and fucking ran with this shit bro. thanks mm-hmm. straight up yeah thanks, i don't know yeah. i mean maybe i'm i don't know if i would i think i don't know i don't know if i have a strong enough mind <laughs> no, you know i i, you know, I don't know don't. Yeah. i think i would be i don't know I don't, you don't know until yeah, you don't know until you, you deal with right. it. Right. Yeah. So, totally. but I, I just couldn't imagine. And I kind of had that buffer of dealing with it easy, almost easing my way into it. But sure. Right. On how, it you know, yeah. Everything. I don't know how, you know, would I be the same person if I was born blind? I don't know. You know, would I have ever skated? You know, right. Yeah. Right. So that's it's true. It's kind of weird. Right. It's true. Yeah. Well, Dan the man. You are the yes. man, hey, bro. Yes. Can I shake your hand, brother? Of course, Chris. Let's go over here to at? the le- uh, right, right, right. Can't over hear here. These headphones. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're the well, man. Thank you. Man. Um, yeah. So we got here some stuff for you, Let's bro. See what to we take have. Home. We got a. Uh, oh, you mentioned the switch flip Manny. We got the switch flip mm. Manny shirt oh, for you. Oh, you got the tees now. No, bro. <laughs> we got another uh, gray. Nine Club T, just our uh, logo T. Awesome. Uh, we got a. Oh, it gets cold out there. We got the crew neck. No wait, is this a crew neck? Yeah, yeah it's crew neck. Perfect this is a crew time neck. for spring. Embroidered mm-hmm. crew neck. That's you know what I'm saying. That's gonna be the go-to right there. We got the gray hoodie. Oh, Nine he's got Club. the logo right there. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. That's right. Um, embroidered Nine Club oh, logo. The, uh, it's a bar logo one. It's across oh, the chest hoodie? there. Yeah, hoodie, gray hoodie. Um, Jason Lee, remember? Nice you, were you? Uh, do you Jason grow Lee. up with the blind video, or is that a little before your time? Jason as well? Lee is stereo and stuff. Right? Yeah, but the blind video days. <sighs> that's came a out little we before my time. Yeah, 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 that's like a little before Damn. my time. Yeah. There's a war. Why? What is that? A logo? Is that yeah, the Jason a, Lee logo? Jason Lee. We did a we did a two shirt pack. Oh, okay. One's a he was wearing this money shirt. Okay. In the video. Mm-hmm. And we just recently had him on the show, so we did a limited oh, run sick. of Jason Lee. One's a money shirt and one's um a updated Bitcoin logo too. <laughs> yeah. So for two thousand twenty. Is it like the money symbol literally? Like yeah, 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 yeah. a little money symbol. The two yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He was wearing it in the in he got it randomly. I think he's a random yeah. thrift shop yeah. maybe wow. or something. But um and then also we got the Crab mug for you. This is like the um Which logo is this one? It's like the Muska. Remember the old Musk yeah, logo? Yeah, yeah. Holding so the board a up. Yeah. With the microphone. Oh, God. And the inside are some stickers. Yeah, we got stickers oh, for you. Dude, this is a fat freaking <laughs> hacky right here. <laughs> you got dude. Dude. 
It's legit. <laughs> it's not as fat as our photo incentive that we give. 20 bucks if you make it on the cover of Thrasher. Right? 20 bucks for a cover? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm making the cover. We'll you, see. dude, hey, uh, never, never say never. Say never. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Dude, that is Come sick. Now, Thank bro. you, guys. Wait, 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 hold on. We got oh, a, whoa. This is a box. We did a, a collab company with um, Grip6. They have belts. Oh, belts. These are great belts. I wear yeah. mine all the time. Dubs wears guy. his. I have to switch it up. Oh, these are, his, yeah, these are great. Right yeah. Dubs wears his even oh, when he's shit. wearing sweatpants. Yeah. What am I breaking? <laughs> <laughs> all these different buckles in here? So yeah. different yep. buckles. Oh, you can switch them out. You can switch them out. Nice. Um, We're going to have to get some Braille ones of these, huh? I know, yeah, dude. That's a well, good idea. you got me thinking now. You know, it's like yeah. we got the. Nine Club uh, we, we, Braille logo? This is 100%, bro. And listen. This is sick. Yeah. Man. I wonder what that would look like, a nine club braille logo. I don't know. Yeah. But we're gonna I thought about it. if I had more time I was gonna bring you guys a freaking thing. More, more fucking mm. thing. We'll get it. Right. I'll get you. A little braille logo, yeah, I'll send it to you guys. Okay. Yeah, okay. That'd, that'd be, be awesome. Don't, no worries. I think I figured this thing out. Yeah, he's putting yeah, it yeah, in the you, thing. You chilling, bro. You nice packaging, yeah, man. Yeah, got multiple packaging. multiple. Oh, there's two uh, straps. You got three in there. Three in there. And you got a little hanger thing that can hold them. Yeah. Damn. Dude, it's, they're great belts. Yeah, like my legit. pants always slide down because yeah. I don't have an ass, so it just Same. slides I'm, down. I'm always sagging too. Um, so these belts really keep the the pants in place. Yes. And here, hold on. Now, last but not least, we got oh, the, ye the Yeti. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeti thermos bottle. Dude, there this with is the legit. Nine club embroidered thing yeah this yeah, is dude. full on i think that i think that twists off too yeah this, that's right? yeah that one does oh, so you yeah. can yeah wow you guys are legit with the yeti huh bro yeah I love man them. keep I love your them. drink cold or hot that's right Good. What's in here? Just uh, uh, I think there's like a, a sticker, a little tag yeah, or something awesome. there. Yeah. Brochures, yeah, type thing. These are always bedside for me, so it's going to be used a lot. Hell yeah. Awesome. Yeah. The water bedside is crucial, bro. Got it. Dude, yeah. look at all this stuff. This is yeah. amazing. Got you, bro. <laughs> thank you, guys. You. Yeah, thanks for coming hey, on the dude, show, man. Thank you yeah. so much, Dan. This is amazing, awesome. and uh, we'd love to have you back anytime. We got to stop the sure. chat show, come yeah, back, dude. give us some updates. Hundred percent down. Uh, tell us more, school us some more, you know. Yep. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Next part that comes out, we'll be Let's back go, on dude. here. Yep. Let's go. I can't I can't wait to see this new Adidas part. Yeah, mm. thanks. Yeah. That one's old footage. I'm looking forward to this next one. It's gonna be yeah, you guys more. Well we seen new yeah, footage. We saw, here. we saw a couple clips. We won't yeah, let you guys saw go. the new new a little bit. Yeah. yeah and a hey, a major shout out to Jim Thebo. Man, always. Jim Thebo, Paul Shire. Paul Shire. Vern at Bones. Yeah. 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 So all great people, man. Yeah, seriously, seriously. Brendan seriously. Jessup, yeah, all those dudes. Yeah. yeah, thank you. And again, anything you need from us, you just holler at us. Love to be involved with the skate park. Please do. Yeah, building and stuff like that. Anything we could do. Awesome. Thank you. Thank Bro. you. Thank you so much, Dan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah, pushing. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah.